Everybody done. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, this is so cheesy. All right, um, oops, messed that up. <laughs> well, let's restart again, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm laughing too hard at this point. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go back now and grab my, uh, I'm gonna grab that video and get rid of it real quick, so clean things up. <laughs> that was strange. <laughs> well, I didn't spell welcome right, so that kind of hurt me. <laughs> All right, um, I guess we're gonna play some ra some rapid games on uh, chess.com. <laughs> Big surprise there, nobody nobody saw that coming, did they? Like chess.com, what's Tuna doing? All right, um, create a new game here and uh, get you guys over watching that. Let's uh, go to coach first, I guess. So we're going here, get YouTube videos and such, uh, and then back over to, uh, to chess.com. Hey, game just started, good stuff. All right, probably should wait, just in case of C4, right? So we wait for that and then Usually, yeah, they, oh, this one, they're playing the other way. Usually it's a knight, I just see a knight move. Working on the knight moves, right, so. <laughs> Hello, what's up, Aaron Gall? <laughs> How are you guys doing? Oh, this first. I saw some, oh, I need to get to that. I saw someone to go after, then it like changed with that move, so it's like, all right. It's like, wait a minute, I think I just want to lock this thing up. Anyway, yeah, nice to see you, Gal. How was your day? Anything go good going on? Exciting things going on over there? Hopefully. Be nice to hear about. Hey, what's up, Strong Coffee? Yeah, I'm going well. Just got to work, huh? Hmm. Maybe Bishop here would be helpful. I don't know. Maybe just G5. Maybe just G5. Yeah. I feel like I need to race. This seems like I should race. It's more the fact my queen's dying that has me hesitating here. If I, uh, you know, if I just like move the knight somewhere, the queen dies, right? So this move would kill my queen. So, all right. Um, and he just comes with a check, so he's ahead. So that's nothing. So yeah, I guess I'll just do this and watch my knight die. I'll resign with that. <laughs> game report. I mean, a game report. I want to actually keep playing. Good game. So. Just got out of work, ready for spring. Yeah, spring would be nice. Spring would be nice. My bad, so just put my queen in a bad score and castled, castled long like Kimmy and got myself in trouble. <laughs> I've I've lost most of the games I've castled long in my career. I think I'm at least 80 to 90, 80 to 90 percent of the time when I castle long, um, I lose. In fact, and over the not well, it wasn't a tournament though. Hey, uh, piano wow, if he's still here, he know he knew uh, Seth Homa. I lost to Seth Homa when he was 13. <laughs> He's now like 2400 though. But I remember losing to him because I castled queenside. Beautiful attack. There's always like some kind of fun sacrifices on c6 and stuff, or in that game too, you had just simple pawn moves, you know? Pawn thrusts can cause some problems. <laughs> I would just enjoy being able to go for bike rides again. Get outside, get some fresh air, that kind of stuff. So.
like there, so. There it goes. <laughs> I know, Kim, you play, you play so exciting. Uh, I need to study my queenside castling moves a lot more. I've, in my life, I'd say I've done a very, very few number of games. Like, if you guys watch me play, how many times have you guys seen me castle queenside? That'd be a fun, fun trivia. Fortuna Chess Coaches uh, combined chess.com plus Lee Chess. How many queenside castles? <laughs> I'm gonna guess very, very few. And then when I did dis when I did make that crazy decision, <laughs> how many of those games did I win? Probably not very many. <laughs> it's like <laughs> O dash or one dash o one dash o one dash o. <laughs> All these wins for white into Tuna's castling. If I was oh, I, yeah, it's black or white though, right? So it could not just the. Uh, Pair of active knights seem like they'd be fun. Wait a minute. Yeah, here. I usually, it's like a mathematical thing I usually look at. Like if all of the pieces are trying to go to a square where, where their own pawn is at it, on it, then I usually uh, consider that good. Like probably good for me, so. Yeah, it says it's wrong, but I don't care. But yeah, you score well with it. You do well. You play that. I think for a long time about this move. I'm like, hmm. I just want this guy to go anywhere. <laughs> like, literally anywhere in this position, I want that knight to move. So. <laughs> I ever tried to cast along as white in the French? It tends to be pretty entertaining. You know, I've never tried it. That, um, that sounds crazy. <laughs> like, like big open mouth, big, big eyes, like, in the French defense. Is that, like in the typical lines, you're saying like uh, advanced variation or other variations, just... Because if it's not the advanced, like if you played... If you played like a King's Indian attack, I could see doing it. But like, but like into C5 lines, like where the C file is opening up. Man, that seems crazy. But it, but it would be interesting, I guess. If black is like used to like a king's side attack or... You know, it could be interesting, I guess. Okay. Pawns on C3 and C6 usually. I'm not a maniac. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I was trying to figure out. I'm like, if they go with the C5 French, I'm like, <laughs> just kind of picturing that in my head. I'm like, I don't know about that. <laughs> not trying to discourage you from making fun moves, but <laughs> seems risky, right? <laughs> what happens in bullet stays in bullet. Well, in bullet you can get away with almost anything. Just go for the time, right? Yeah, I think where this is, I think I know where this is headed. Is that to blow it up? No, no, it's true though. The C4 move is actually good against a lot of uh, like when, in the Karl Khan when I transition with that C5 move, that can be a nice move. So that's a nice, nice uh, 
Nice point you make there, Gal. It's a nice, uh, nice thing to know. <laughs> For a minute, I thought you guys were on the other screen. I'm like, oh no, they're still on the starting screen. Here is Heller Music. Is this thing working? Hey, hey. You guys can see the music. I guess that's good. Somewhere in this 20 hour mix is the song we're currently listening to. It's also on the left side there, in, into the void, but I didn't see anything green. Did you guys see anything green? <laughs> Guess I'm going too fast. Oh, there it was. Maybe not. <laughs> there's green in there somewhere. Somewhere there's something playing. It still says Harris Heller, so we're doing good. All right, back over to the game. Bond cloud. <laughs> Bond cloud. People still playing this. So knight to c5 is kind of hitting me as like a fun move. Good, bad, or otherwise. I might get the bishop here. Yeah. Go this way. Attack, attack the queen. I think she goes back there. Yeah, and then this guy right or even this pawn I guess is hanging too maybe the pawns better probably the pawns better if I take rook does that matter no my queen just moves right hey what's up oh ski boy how you doing oh skis oh skis back I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go behind the pawn I think Trying to avoid sacrifices here after my knight moves. Like... back to c4 and I control this right so these light I can't take these arrows this guy goes here and then goes there we won't even draw the arrows <laughs> or maybe I should do it this way my knight goes here <laughs> knight goes there <laughs> like, oh man that's awfully close to my king's set queen, uh, yeah my king's getting that harassed I don't like this I think I have pawn and then, oh, oh I don't have the knight move though, because the queen's here. Now I'm not really throwing anything because the rook can just take right away, right? Because uh, the rook on d1 seems to be thrust as well. Yeah. Could be worse. I haven't used these on leech us in a while. You mean like in like a day? <laughs> it's been like one day. It hasn't been that long since I streamed there, right? So. And I was on Leech Us the other day too. Oh, nice. All right. This looks really bad for me. I think I'm about to lose some material. Maybe not though. But yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm like, maybe not. I'm like, no, probably gonna lose some material. Here. Yeah. 
I'm not clicking another link to it. Um, think you play on going tournament when? Cool. Yeah, put your game. All the games. Just post those over in the uh, Discord. Post your game in the Discord, man. <laughs> I already restarted the stream once. <laughs> Clicked on something. I'm like, well, that wasn't a good idea. All right. Uh, real cool. Three, four. He still got four, doesn't he? Now you only have three. Does seem bad. Bishop, rook. Bishop, rook, queen takes knight on e4. The queen can cap. No, queen can't cap. Let's try this. Bishop, rook, and then maybe take on e4 to get the piece back. I don't know. Maybe. This guy, right? You can take this one, though. No, if, I, if he takes that one, I take it there, though. It's still bad for me, but I don't think it's. At least I found something here, so. Yeah, sorry, man. I'm just trying to be better with the, uh... <laughs> you weren't here for my first stream tonight, but I got rerouted to uh, a DCMA song by my top sub. <laughs> my, my highest supporter sent me a, a funny, like, tro he didn't really troll me, he was just kind of teasing me. Had me over a song, so... Anyway. Back to this game, right? Maybe he's trying to see if this is anything first. I don't know. Oh, I can turn that on. Hold on, let's see what that was. Hey, Karthik, 2026, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Yeah, I figured maybe something like this and try to, I'm not sure where it goes from here, but I'm looking up. At least this knight's gonna stay here now. It's kind of nice to know. And thank you for following. Hopefully, you enjoy the stream. I'm assuming the next move is gonna be this, just for the excitement of it. But no, I guess not. the rook to attack my queen so I'm just getting ready for the next move. But I'm hovering, I'm not just like dropping or anything. Just hover drop. That's where I want to be. Yeah, and I, all, I would, all I did with that move is I just wanted to have my, my rook control this file instead of his rook, so, or his or her rook I guess, right? So, so yeah, so then I come back over and file is mine for now at least. Yeah, I mean, that's true, I guess. There is that possibility. Kind of sad, though, right? I mean, it's not the most... It's not the fun way to win, is it? <laughs> Got him with the flag, Tuna. Queen checks, yeah. And he can play... He could play Knight Takes Pawn now. Actually, not... Maybe, well, maybe I go here. I don't know. It's, yeah, and then... I mean, I guess at the very least, if you move slowly, right, then that's probably good. I'm 
the time here is a bit ridiculous on this move. Cool, yeah, awesome, Oski, Oski boy. And then I can always look to like off stream or check it out. And um, eventually, I'd like to go through and maybe do some like YouTube series and like some people, some of the best games I see and stuff would be kind of fun. So, but yeah, I'm gonna play a little bit longer. And then uh, it would be nice to get a bracket tonight, maybe or something. We haven't done one of those in a little while, or some other, uh, I don't know, some other activity, right? Create a lot of things for you guys, a lot of events and stuff. So. Map not, yeah, I should go through and load all the different pages of it. There we go. Seems to be working, that's good. Okay. Alright, back over here. Didn't go for it. Hmm. Obey Hypnotoad? <laughs> Who am I playing, right? Hey, how's it going, roller coaster? Oh, he's stuck on the board. No, in Lee Chess you can go off the board, but here... Lee Chess has no boundaries, but chess.com does. Look at this, we're stuck. You can't leave the board with your piece. What is that? Hmm. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Oh, that's nice. A little action on my pawn there, huh? Little action on my pawn. All right, well, I don't want to go that way. Hmm. All right. Bit of a decision on that one, right? So. So funny, ridiculous this stuff. All right, um, I'm gonna stay with the c6 square. So, although I do like the fact that bishop is now behind a pawn, that seems that was nice. Teasing about the fact you can't do things on you know you want to do with the piece or whatever. It's just, just joking about that. Oh, man. 
that simple, huh? You're gonna go in and it's all gonna get wonderful, huh? It does look like it could get pretty wonderful here. What do I do against this, guys? Sack the queen? Oh, I meet him. <laughs> I'm like, what do I do against this? Well, I guess checkmate will work. When they threaten mate, play the mate. <laughs> so ridiculous, I didn't even see it there. That's so ridiculous. I'm like looking around like, what do I do? Mate and one. Oh, I guess I'll play mate and one, okay. And parry. Parry, parry, thrust, thrust. <laughs> All the pals, thanks for hosting. <laughs> that's, that's one of the sadder wins I've ever had. When, <laughs> when you're looking for a defensive move and the choice that you come up with is checkmate, probably something went slightly wrong in that game. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what happened again for Tuna? Well, I was thinking of a defensive move and then I realized I had mate and one. Oh! I did the, um, exactly, I did the, the, what's that thing called, the puzzle, puzzle storm. I did puzzle storm. I can show you guys the results in a minute. Went pretty well. <laughs> I was like, I guess I can try this thing out. Um, okay, I can go after this stuff. I haven't declared that I'm actually going to castle kingside yet, though. I'm going to play this move. It can, it can go either way. Obviously, it's not as good as this if I have a castle on queenside, but sure. Yeah, it was ridiculous, Kimmy, I agree. <laughs> Kimmy's like, coach, that's not even fair. That is not fair, you can't, <laughs> you can't win a game when you're being attacked by mating your opponent. So wrong. You know, Harris didn't do half bad with this music. We have voices, we got nice tunes. I mean, sounds a little bit 80s like with times. It's nice. Then we also get the, the heavy, uh, more like metal-y type stuff. So he did a good job. Yeah, right? If others are thinking about using it on their stream, because it is DCMA compliant, so it's not, it's not against the rules to use the stuff. They're welcome to check that out. I don't like letting this knight come here um, in general. Just, uh, and I also love, love, love my king over here. Seems like I've done that almost every position like this throughout my, throughout playing chess, I guess. Pawn. Actually, not yet. Got to prepare some stuff. wants to race over but she's just she's a little bit slower than she'd like to be. I don't have more support on G4 though so if the rook was back here there would be ideas of like one of these guys capturing and then pawn forward. Fork right? Get some support on it.
music's interesting. <laughs> what are we listening to? Is anybody like in a country where COVID is like over, over? Because it stopped anywhere. I think it was like Australia, right? The, the whole continent of Australia. Like that's, uh, I thought that was better. It's one place. One, one place without COVID. Still in Croatia. I thought you were in Vietnam last time. <laughs> Where are you at now? Hmm. Prayers of Sakar, let's go back. Uh, for some reason I thought you were in Vietnam. I don't know. I thought you said something about Vietnam one time or something. Well, I guess when you guys say play, right? You guys say you guys want to play, it'd be one thing. Oh, ski you're in here, aren't you? Oski boy's like, I want to do bracket. You're not even in my, you're not even in the table, Oski. What do you care? Or maybe I got your name wrong. O-S-K-I-E. Oh, well, there you are. Yeah, you're in there. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what's he asking for? No, you're in there. <laughs> We're doing well in Australia. All right. Hey, there he goes. Take that one. And then run like the wind. Considering running like the wind, but also night up. Wind run, night up. Wind run, night up. Hmm. I think wind run. Uh, or rook up. Nah, you know. Run, king, run. <laughs> I wanted. I was preparing it with this, and also no moves. So, one time warned happens again. You'll just be out. So we uh, we're fast to ban now. No uh. It's all, all good, no wasting time, right? We just, I'm gonna go king up here next, be guarded. I was talking to coach, not you, I'm done for bracket. Okay, cool. Oh, you're, you're saying you're down for it or done for it? Yeah, that puzzle storm thing was pretty fun. So if you guys haven't done that yet, definitely give it a try. Yeah, this is my thought as they try to do it this way. Hey, Nate Browdy, Brady now hosting. Thank you for that was nice. Thank you, Nate. Appreciate that. So I do just have the knight come back and just one more defender of my light square. So I've got the bishop, the queen, the pawn, like pretty much everything that can and and whatever will be there, right? Alright. Queen up would guard that, but no longer that. And also take my knight square away. Or I could go here. But that would lose. That would lose the pawn. Or I could go knight back. Hmm. I could, I could take this knight back and take this knight in to go there. I guess I'll do that. And they, and they can still sack here if they want. It's still possible, but just guarding it. And then, like I said, I can go back and up and attack that. So this knight going here. And then we can do the. Uh, so this is the the chess.com way to move a knight. Apparently, is like this. Because <laughs> I can't take those arrows. I can't take chess.com arrows. So you make the knight look more like a pawn. Or maybe maybe it's like you click this and then you show it going to the square. Maybe that works. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you click him, he goes there, click him, goes there. Like, 
<laughs> so tacky. These arrows are not working. I can just click the piece and show the movement, I guess. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a fail? Or do you guys like that? I, get, I mean, I even drug up, like I wanted the arrow to go the other way and it wouldn't do it. Like it. <laughs> and then if you want to show like all of the knights movement, it's like nasty. It's like, what is all this? Can I, can I bong? I won't get upset if you bong cloud in the bracket. I mean, it's, I'm not playing you. Some poor viewer is suffering through that stuff. <laughs> Kimmy is 2300 rating just says, that. I'm gonna bong cloud. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm just going solid here. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guard my pawns as well as I can. And then once they're all protected, then we'll continue on with the game. Well, I guess also there's this looming, right? But I mean, so if, yeah, if captures, now I've got double attack. Now it's like, well, hey, I'm attacking stuff, but I don't really wanna move. I don't really wanna move this one because this guy. She could leave though. Up it goes, all right. Pin that guy. It's light controlling that. She can do stuff. Hmm. Pin the bishop. Queen comes down. Sack some good after that. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go here first. Take that though, did I? Or do I? Take knight. I control the queen square. No new cases of community COVID transmission in the whole state of NSW. Expecting a sack now. Yep, seems like the right time for it. That's why I expected it. So I think we just we just sit on it. We just go back and say, okay, cool sack. We go back and just win your pawn. Continue playing. I don't have to like give the e pawn. If I take. <laughs> if I would sorry, if I take this, check, and draw my king getting moved away from that pawn that I want to win on uh, G2 there. Alright. Hey, Spicy Nachos 1. <laughs> spicy Nachos 1, that's a long name. Fun name though. Nice to have you here. Spicy Nachos. Okay, I think I could play this, right? I guess he could respond with, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the same. Bishop checks, knight checks, whatever. Bishop blocks. I don't really care. I just, um, I just like the idea of creating a pass over here. I guess now I'm giving up this guy possibly, though. It's the only downside, right? So I actually maybe play into their idea with that, maybe. Wow, it just doesn't. Huh? Okay, I'll take that. Oh, I didn't want to do that. It came that way. Nice. I think I should get move.
I'm just thinking. Hey, how's it going, Obi? Yeah, they, it's not even theory. They also pause for like 45 seconds a game. Do you notice that a lot too? Like the pausing? Kind of interesting. They'll like, they'll pause like a really long time. I win some, I lose some. So play one, play none of these. How's it going, Ovi? You having a good night then? I got knocked out. <laughs> Coach got knocked out on that one. That's me right there. Ouch! Smackdown! Smackdown tuna. <laughs> I love that emote. He's got his fish, he's got his like little tongue sticking out and little fish tongue. Taking some heat there, I tell you. Definitely enjoying this Harris Heller mix. I mean, after my, uh, I listen to the same mix every stream for, you know, eh, 1,500 hours, whatever it was. Nothing like losing 1,500 hours with the content for that. that was cool. No worries, right? <laughs> Twas awesome. Actually, I might take here, I guess. Get ready for that. He's already got one win. Oh, he played me again? Oh, you're banned. I don't play the same person more than once. Blocked. Blocked for challenging me again. <laughs> That's right. One game. One and done. And, and that's how I feel about that. What she said, what do you say? I missed that. 10 plus O actually seems easier on chess.com to me. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should, if I, if I took my time, maybe it would be easier. I tend to play kind of quickly. Maybe that's the problem. Nice. Yeah, that, I, was, I was similar with some of that. Uh, can I do this? You can't, you can't see your stats, can you, without control click? I go to my stats, like you'll see I'm 2253 in bullet, 2202 in blitz. It's really just rapid that I'm working out. But I was 21, I was 2128 in rapid before doing it online with you guys. Like off stream, I got to 2100. On stream, I went down quite a bit. So whatever that means, that is how it happened, right? So yeah, good job. Your numbers are the same as well. 300 points higher on Leech. You're 300 points higher on Leech I'm lower on Leech This is the, I think this is the only time control where I'm not as good or better than Leech So. Think about taking there, pushing this pawn forward, attack here, play C3. But then now my knight has a really good square. Like this, this knight goes from like, what's he doing back there? To like, oh, that's kind of useful. <laughs> well, 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 knight. Aren't you just going to nice squares? And actually both the knights can get there as well. I could go here as well. Let's do that first. Let's cover this one. And then, up, oh, man. Yeah. 
Choices, choices, choices. Hmm. Which way? This way, maybe? Not the easiest decision, right? Queen goes up there, alright. And I'll, I'll lose an exchange with this move. I'll end up having to take the knight on f7 after queen checks, king over, knight in, rook takes. But I play down the exchange so much now that it just seems good to me. Plus the knight's awfully powerful. Yeah, see if you play the tactic. It's like so slow on the tactics, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> they're like, I'm really strong, I'm just not very fast. And then they'll make like moves that are like less obvious a lot faster. But this, I mean, this is a pretty obvious move. Queen checks. Huh. I wonder if they're worried about being detected for cheating. They're like, no, 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 that'll give it away. I can't do that one. That can't be right. Pretty good, right? At least we got something to take. I wanted to give the exchange earlier. I told you guys that. Let's do it now. Thought process anyway, but we'll see.
<laughs> bird is the word. Yeah, bird's a lot of fun, isn't it? Definitely a good opening. If you guys haven't seen uh, Goth Girl play the bird, you guys are missing out. Oh, there you go. Silver birdie coming in, huh? Nice. No, did you not? It didn't. It's not low enough for you today, then. You're not getting what you need. Did you just sack into it? Yes, he could, right? To play the knight up there. Knight to f4. Rook takes. Pawn takes. I mean, you figure it's got to be reasonable, right? So, yeah. I've already lost the G. The G5 sack wins this game because you get you get a pawn here and a pawn here. Those pawns are winning together once you sack this pawn. So you give that one, I capture, it, and then this one of these pawns is gonna win. So, so really, just queen takes rook could probably be best. Like queen takes queen, maybe simple, you know, simple way to just win the game. Do that. Play G5. I have two pawns, but mine aren't going to work as well. I don't think they are anyway. Yeah, and then g5, right? Doesn't have to do it right away, but... Yeah, I'll resign. Good game, nicely done. So, trades into one end game nicely. Nicely done. I've, this I've been doing on chess.com, I kind of bounce back and forth between those two. It seems like the more cramped positions I play, the better the game goes. So I'm going to try playing some cramped positions against these guys, see if it doesn't go a little better.
Get some more awake today, I guess that's good. I was really tired yesterday, if you guys saw me. Oh, okay, this is, uh, I thought this move was gonna be strong. Yeah, because now, my knight controls f6, so before it was rook f6 to guard this pawn. But now the king can't, sorry, king can't go there because of the knight. Rook can't go there because of this knight. And if you take here, you probably just take with the, no. Oh yeah, take the bishop too, I guess. I don't know, a lot of options, I guess, but. Or take on e6 first, I guess, right? Well, that's probably good. No, no, I can't do that first because my queen. <laughs> Doe. Maybe queen takes e4 is even stronger then. Hit this. Also hitting that because of the bishop behind my queen, so. Bishop, queen for rook and queen, right? It's still the e6 pawn with trouble, possibly. Good to see you guys. So I think I'm gonna start playing rook to e1. Most of, most of this game I've wanted to have the rook on e1. <laughs> I went here, <laughs> but that rook, that rook could have been so much more useful throughout this game on the other square. Like, seems like anyway. Threaten the rook, take a d-pawn, protected queen. All well, seems good. Connect my rooks, and I think I'm gonna go back. I don't, I don't like him. Uh, I know a lot of people like to attack with their queen like deep in enemy territory, but the amount of times my queen goes deep in enemy territory and doesn't come back, <laughs> and not because she won either. She just gets like stuck out there. Like, oh really? Is that my queen? So I'm gonna go here. Seems to pretty much guarantee a trade, right? Get one of these, like a. Uh... I can start putting more pressure on as well. Let's go here. Brook shines a light on a bird, huh? but after that we <laughs> what? Okay, so I can take this guy. What should I? I was just looking to see if there's like a knight to attack my queen, but there's not, so I'm just gonna go over here. More trades becoming possible, like bishop f6, rook f6, rook e7. Rook c6, and like I got, you know, lots of, uh, huh. Maybe trying to focus on this pawn as a possibility. Always just push though. All right, let's, let's take the stack away. This is a stack, like these two, so we're gonna, gonna hit the stack and say no. Shall not be piled up that way. Takes B6 comes to mind. Bishop back to G2. Rook's active with like Rook E2, Rook to E1. I'm actually gonna stay here, I think. So the knight, you just look at all the knight squares, which I hate using chess.com's thing here, but um, <laughs> this is so crazy. Look at the bishop is on the knight, okay? Like. <laughs> Dude, I just will never draw a knight again. Like, this is killing me. Would he actually sack? Let's find out. There's only one way to know if they'll sack or not, and that's to offer it. And the answer was yes. Okay, I'm playing back here, which looks like a passive move, but my threat is queen checks. I guess the knight can block, but uh, you know, I still, still have pressure on him, right? The check, knight goes back. Passive knight pinned to the king also seems kind of nice for me. But yeah, we, we always want to offer those uh, sacrifices when we, can, when we can put a bishop back and cover the king and have our queen coming back as well. Okay, so looked at that as if it was a threat. Let's go here. The idea is that the rook moves away, a queen comes in, pins to the king. We're still getting the trades we want, right? So, yay. 
But that's what I've been doing. Just go down, up, down, up, down, up. So maybe if I just focus a little more, right? And I'm in, I guess part of it too, I might have lost 150 points from trying out my new opening. I probably could have looked a little bit more of the book. I looked at chapter one. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should look at chapters two and three and four. You know, there might be, there might be some more ideas in the book than what I've encountered so far. <laughs> <laughs> All of her puzzles are, well, because that's what she plays. Either, either the bird or the Dutch, right? Some have to be in the Dutch. I'd be surprised if they were all the bird. Uh, queen up, I guess. Huh? That move next. All right, that goes back. Yeah, you should. I mean, you should study them for like what to play against them too, though. That's the that's the big one, right? So. Yeah, these. These like more cramped position openings are kind of fun because usually the path to like bust them is uh well challenging I guess what I would say right so Music's rather interesting. <laughs> the voices and such. Uh, great to have you here again, Gollum. Did anybody want to do a bracket tonight? You guys want to do a bracket after this game? I know the, uh, one of the bracket guys left. It's usually easier, too, if we have more people, but Thursday night, people might have thought I was going to play my buddy, too, which means we get a little bit of time for this stuff, because you guys are like, Fortuna, weren't you going to play your friend? I like when they go backward, it usually means we can go forward. Usually there's something they leave behind, so. So they go backward, we go forward usually. To there. When is the bracket? I mean, whenever, whenever you guys say you guys want to play, I guess. I mean, do, would you guys like to have a bracket soon? You could do it. Would you play Birdie? That'd be one. We just need, I mean, if I see interest, I mean, just like we did in the other uh, Wii chess, we can just wait for people to show interest and then switch, right? So one nice thing is, this move could be played, I could play this because there's nothing over here. Like, usually there's some kind of, like, check or something, but, uh, White's been careful to take that away, so. We can always play King Def 8, too. <laughs> Bonk on very old school. People still love it, though. Old, oldie but goodie, can we say? <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Yeah, they are a little bit passive, aren't they? I feel like I feel like White could have done better with the knights. That's probably a good point there. The bishops are really good. Though. Look at all these squares they control. The bishops are monsters. <laughs> Shut up, Kimmy. <laughs> I was born in the nineties. <laughs> <I'm old. laughs> Whatever, Kimmy. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Kimmy sucks. Kimmy, why you gotta be like that? Nobody likes that guy, okay? It's just cruel and unusual. There's no reason. If you can control a file, control a file. Good rule of thumb, right?
<laughs> yep, you're right. You're right, Gall. Gall got it. 70s, absolutely. That was the one. Okay. So, I'm actually going to go here and just kind of eye the queen from a distance with this. And also, if this move, I'll now have like this move pinning that pawn to the queen. So, there you go there. I move away, bishop, pins pawn to queen. Liking it. I also considered this move, but then I thought better of it. Hey, hi -o! Are you from Are you from Ohio with the uh, hi-o there? <laughs> it's like, oh, H. <laughs> I-O. You guys ever, you guys ever see that in Columbus? That's <laughs> how they do it there. Oh, your sub oh, no worries, man. No worries. You don't have to explain that stuff. I, don't expect I mean, you guys try to be subbed all the time. Breaks the pin. Okay. All right. Pin is broken. King to F8, King to F7. Castles. King to F8, King to F7. Hmm. Leave it alone. Seeing H5 is a possibility, right? My tuna senses are telling me <laughs> I can go back, but we'll see. Every Saturday for my entire life, OH, huh? Pre-2000, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I like, I like the King's Indian defense. I was gonna do this and then push past was my idea on this move. I put my queen here just to help out with this, but I do see now that that can have some problems. I can go up here as well. And it's kind of like you can win a pawn, you can win a pawn, but should you? That's kind of my question to this guy. You can win it, but should you? Decide which way to capture back. Probably this way, but yeah, probably that way. I think this queen here, maybe. Well, maybe not, though. I don't know. Knight back? Queen bishop. Pawn up. Pawn rook. If they look weak, let's go after him, right? Yeah, I don't usually talk too much during my games, but I'll talk afterwards, but uh... It's funny, I actually, I actually told Trevlar guys that if anybody new came in the chat and was talking to me today, I just wouldn't talk back. <laughs> it's probably a better way to go. Probably guys were like, what are you talking about? I didn't do anything. We know you didn't do anything. Soccer, there you go. Comes in, wants to attack stuff. Huh?
Yeah? We already know this answer. If you scroll back up, you'll know. Not more than just Kimmy, though. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this age stuff. Why, why must we get old, right? Because a lot of you guys are, are young, so... Comes in there. Ah, for this guy. Well, that's clever. And threatens the rook at the same time. <laughs> Pretty nice. I almost want to give the exchange. <clears throat> you guys know how I feel about those. I'm gonna give the exchange here. If I have a choice between losing my d6 pawn or losing a rook, I'm gonna choose the uh, the other way. <laughs> it's like, give me the pawn, give me the, let's go down the exchange, let's keep playing. And this could be a rough one to be down the exchange in, but tis my choice. Oh, and he actually goes that way. Look at that. Well, well, well. All right. Good understanding, I guess. I want to take him because of the check, you know, might get away otherwise, right? So. No exchange given up. for white only because the king doesn't have a lot of great squares to choose from also seems bad because like problems oh it is that he's got to move how did you not see that oh, he's in serious trouble i guess the knight's pinned at least pawn up just do this bishop moves the discovery but he can't move hmm. This is probably better though. That one's probably the right one. Didn't do it though. Hmm. Whatever, right guys? <laughs> What's going on in this game? Never takes anything after. Say it moved. Okay, good. You're good, Vinny. That rook's a very active. He's good. <clears throat> a very good rook.
That's a bad move. The square is covered. Hmm. So I thought he was thinking too. All right, yeah, we can do bracket if you guys want. Um, we can switch back over to chest or lead chest or whatever and uh, do our bracket if you guys want to come play. A few people mentioned it. Definitely up for it. Um, switch screens, I guess. Go back to main view. We just gotta get our pairing right, and then we can uh, load up all of our screens and everything, and then change this two to be uh, leechest.org brackets, right? So up to you guys. But when oh, I can show you guys that uh, pawn, what is the thing called? The storm thing, right? Puzzle storm. So we go into puzzles, and I do this. This is my storm stuff. See, so yeah, it wasn't it wasn't great. I don't remember what she said he got, but I um, game rules. I thought I had my. I must have clicked the wrong thing. I wanted to click my. Oh, here's best results. I just did it one time. Um, Ninety-seven point five percent accurate. Thirty-eight of them is how many I got. I guess so. That's that's the ones you got right, right? And then there was, or is that how many were in the thing? I don't know. So, oh, you guys want to play? Okay, cool. Vinny wants to play. All right, guys. Yeah, I'll get you guys that entered in one second. Good to see you. All right, let's do this. Database field. Yeah, these are fun. These brackets are always a good time. So let's, uh, that's not what I wanted. Not this one. Do I want? Oh, pair, I want pair, that's what I want. Modify, there we go, all right. <laughs> let's get back in the mindset of what do I do again? All right, so let's get all these guys added here, so. DM no GM just came in. Okay, let's go back and um, got the followers. Type in, oops, I didn't mean to open that up either. Lots of misclicks here. Okay. So DM no GM. There he is, 31. Good stuff. He's already in there then, good. And then uh, Uncle Vinny, 6,093. Uh, I didn't like 38G3, okay. 31 was played. Just, just those, just those two. I gotta mind stopping the uh, the chest, but okay, Gaul will get in there as well. All right. We're getting pretty low on days for this, so it makes sense you guys want to play a little bit right now. Maybe I'll stay on a little bit later tonight too. You know, the night of sleep last night really does help. If I get a night's rest, that's uh, <laughs> a lot easier to stay up late with you guys after getting some sleep. Those. Going to bed at 4 a.m. and the next day trying to stay up late is hard. Maybe Friday's a better day to stay up late though, right? I mean, today is Thursday, so could actually go to bed at a reasonable time tonight and then come back later tomorrow. Come on, Kimmy. Come on. <laughs> so. Hey, MGJ. What's up, man? MGJ's in the house. Awesome. I didn't know you were here. If you said something earlier in the chat, I missed it. Good to see you, man. 35. All right. Tired, and I'm just going to enjoy... Oh, that's nice, Kimmy. No worries. It's nice of you to say that. <laughs> so I just keep playing on chess.com then for a while? Is that what I do? Or... I still have rapid on chess.com. I could keep doing that for a while while I wait for the pairings, right? I can play another game. I'd rather keep uh, stream content coming rather than like just sit here waiting for the other four people. No, but but if you are, uh, yeah, you're not just you're not, no, not not accepting challenges, man. No. Nope. I prefer to I prefer just to play the wild, especially if it's rated. You know what I mean? And I don't like I don't the casual on streams okay, but what happened to my board? My board color changed. We were just here. It even says green. What the heck? <laughs> like literally said green. What was that? I want to play a game. All right. Yeah, we just need we need four more. We need four more people that can play, and that'd be good, right? So, oh, I should play D three. I just had more luck with that cramped stuff. Don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to bring the night get, get uh, a second. Second F2 gets awfully good if I bring that bishop out too soon. And you're like, no, why'd I do it? That's true too, yeah, we could do the bots, let's do that, that's true, we can get just four, I'll, I'll go back and do that after this game, that's a great idea. If we don't get any, even if we do get one more person, we can just play the bots for whoever doesn't show up, right? So.
I'm at least going to think about this capture, you know. My opponent has both bishops, though. That's the part that's got me kind of pausing. Yeah, you got both bishops. I'm not going to open it up that way. I'm going to open it a different way. This way I think is more preferable. Break that pin then, because <laughs> I really want to get this thing going at some point. Not fun enough to move that. Even here would be fine actually, just not allowing. Where's nice currently at? Double hit, right? Pin and that? Nice. I can sack. You can sack there, because knight e3 check was good afterwards, and this also was a good idea too. Could push the pawn again. He's going for this. Uh, the check raise really strong, so back down I go. Oh, I just, yeah, dang it, I lost. I tried, I tried solving a problem, but I actually made it worse. Uh, the problem is after queen takes, my rook is uh, double hit, so dang it. <sighs> oh yeah, the bots, sorry, I'll go, I'll go do the arena, I said I would. Or, uh, so we'll just fire up the bots, I guess, guys. Back over another thing. That's too bad, though. Bots will play. What are the bots IDs? Bot. They are four, uh, six, zero, eight, 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 nine, and 90. All right, let's get him in there. Six zero eight eight. Oh, it's my own fault. I just played to a bad square, but I was, it was already kind of a rough game the way it was going. I should play more my own. I don't know. I get like distracted in uh, chess. I can't play some different. Oh, I need I need more bots, don't I? Do I need a four. Oh, I do have a fourth. Four zero eight seven. Okay, cool. All right. Hopefully these bots hit well into you guys. I don't know. Like in terms of like how they get. Yeah. Did you want to play El Rodito? Because we, we we only have uh, we need four more people. But I'm putting in bots at this point. Unless you want to play. So, yeah, Roto SD, if you want to join, whatever, let me know, man. We could definitely put you in there. It's, it hasn't started yet, so do you want to come in? All right, cool. Oh, and Plays Chess will come in as well. All right, good stuff, guys. We're replacing some of these bots. That seems good to me. Give somebody the wrong bot. That'd be kind of funny. Like the, uh, the level too high. Zero seven eight. All right, so yeah, we got two bots in the action then. Anybody else in the chat want to play? Give you guys a chance. Pair it up. Pairings have happened. Reset this bracket from last time. Okay, yeah, looks like all the right people. Now I just got to get my screens going. Uh, you guys know what to do. White's on top, black's on bottom on every single one of these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just get things uh, fired up here. Start searching for players and such. And we've got uh, Uncle Vinny. So get that one going. Uncle Vinny's got white against Aaron Gall. The the bot the bot actually gets white against um, DM not GM. So good luck DM against your bot. You bet you beat it last time though. So maybe maybe a good sign that you beat it again, right? 
That'd be kind of cool. It was fun watching DM beat it too. It was an exciting game. I was nervous for DM the way the game started, but he came back and played really, really well. And like I said, I'll take you guys into CDs in one moment, just uh, getting it all fired up. And because I was doing something else first, just takes a minute. All right, here we go. And I was hoping to actually do maybe some commentary today too, you know, for better or worse. Um, shoot, what am I doing? Oh yeah, searching. Um, MGJ17 comes in. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming. For, I mean, you guys come by and do this stuff. It's nice to have you guys here. You know, it's as a streamer, it's lucky to have people even come to your stream, let alone to come in and play in events that you create. Everyone but one board is going. I've got Plays Chess, uh, Roto. Uh, I got Plays Chess twice. That's not good. <laughs> the other one was... Uh, oh, because the bot paired up wrong. I need DM, not GM. That's what I'm missing. Uh, I'll do that up here. I already have him. No, I don't have him. So that's place just that's place just. So that one then. Vinny. Okay, so Vinny didn't pair up yet. Vinny and Gall? Is that the one? I'm, I don't know. I'll send you guys in, I guess, even though it's uh looks like we have a few that haven't paired yet, so. And you'll see there's two of the same temporarily while I get the other one loaded, so. Hopefully. Okay, so there's DM not G. Oh, I already got DM not GM. What the heck am I doing tonight, guys? I'm all over the place on this stuff. Place chest at work. We already got him. Aaron Gall, that's all I'll do. Aaron Gall. There he is. Okay, so Aaron Gall is playing, or should be playing against Uncle Vinny. There he goes. Talk. Oh, because Uncle Vinny has that name. Okay, that's cool. And then, who the heck was this supposed to be? Roto? SD? There we go. Alright, they're all going. It was on me. Good stuff. There we go. Everybody's paired up. <laughs> And that background kind of matches a little bit better with all the boards too, so that's kind of nice. Good stuff. Three minutes. Did some of you guys play a faster game? Seven plus two turns into three? Okay. Looks like somebody's game's a little bit faster. Or maybe, maybe some time came off, I don't know. All right. I don't know. I don't know why they're playing different time controls. I have no idea. I put it on the I put it on the thing. It's on both screens now. If we go back on the main view here, it does say seven plus two casual. So I've, I've added that to the layout. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's not on me this time, Kim. <laughs> we'll accept the results. I mean, they're playing bots, aren't they? The guys that did that. I think they're one of them was playing a bot anyway. And one restarted. It looks like the times only look wrong in one game. That's not. And then, so he gets the bot. Who cares? I mean, as long as you beat the bot, hopefully. Lickstrax? Why are we watching Lickstrax? What's up with this one? That's not even the right player. My gosh, what have I done to myself today? Who am I missing? Plays chess at work? I thought I had plays chess at work. Nope, not anymore. I had plays chess at work and then I lost it. Oh my gosh. Because plays chess at work doesn't exist. Plays chess at work. There he is, okay. That's what the problem is, guys. It was me. I'm having such a hard time today. I mean, you get predictions going too. Prediction coming at you. That's that's Campbell. There you go. <laughs> you should not be gambling on stream though. Usually, right? It's usually a bad thing. So.
cash on my turn. So we got a result here. It looks like MGJ, a Roto, Roto win. Roto MGJ, wow, that was exciting. So Roto and MGJ, two humans playing each other. And coming out of that is uh, Roto, it looks like. Wow, with the black pieces with this queen sack. Is that right? A queen, or I took a rook. Queen takes e one, wow. The rook came over and then, surprise. Man, nice game. Number two goes forward. Crazy, that one, also this one, huh? Well, it's the same, I, was I showing the same game twice? What is happening with me today, guys? What is my problem? It's like somehow with these names, I missed something. I got DM, Aaron, plays chess at work. How can I have all these and be missing somebody? Vinny, Aaron, see that. DM, DM's missing again. I thought I searched on DM, no GM. We had him earlier. All right, they're still playing. Okay, whatever. <laughs> this is beyond me, how I missed this. But I did get that result right, which is good. We got Roto going on, which is good. And then that's the bottom left board. Man, maybe just too long of a week or something. I was answering other questions off stream too from, from Nick about not playing and stuff, so. <laughs> I know. No, we're not noticing that the same games are on the stream. This is probably bad. <laughs> reasons reasons to have less than four games going on at once. <laughs> like, no, no. I gotta start blocking people faster. Just make things easier on myself, you know? Why do I wait? Okay, back here. I'm liking this song. Vinny and Gall. Yeah, I don't know if you guys like this song or not, but this one's hit me pretty good. Seems like a decent one so far. Reminds me of the songs that F Pawn sends me. F Pawn, oh! And yeah, yeah, I'm excited. One week from today, I think I'll have an un uh, unveiling of some fun stuff for you guys. Can't wait. Can't wait for. St it's gonna be good, man. Pretty excited. I keep trying to make the stream better, you know? Like, content good, games hopefully decent. Occasionally, I'll deny playing somebody. Hopefully, it doesn't make people too angry. I try to play most people though. We play a lot of viewers, do arenas. I mean, <laughs> you'll you'll never be blocked, Kimmy. It'd take a lot, I guess. Unless unless somebody hacks your account or something, and then we'll just bring you in under a different account. You you've been reborn before. You can keep coming back. You'll be fine. <laughs> Born again chess player. <laughs> so let's see, the bot plays chess at work, seems to be going to work on the bot, you know? Look at him taking all these pawns over there. It's, uh, it's this board here, so Black just gobbled another pawn right there, top left of your screen. Plays chess at work, taking that bot down. What else is going on? Uncle Vinny versus Gall. Dead equality, it looks like, with uh, both players having both bishops, and uh, interesting game. 
And we lost, we got another win over here. So DM, did you take down the bot again? Yeah, DM no GM, taking down his bot, no problem. Nice job DM, so DM advancing on again. And DM I think is our leader already, so this is just like icing on the cake for him. Just more points, you know? And if he's able to pull out a win here, he could probably solidify himself pretty close to either the top or you know, take, take Jen coming back maybe trying to get some wins, so four oh eight this one. Nice job DM, no GM. Not GM, well done. It's kind of where you're no GM here, not GM there. Do you have a preference? Uh, DM not GM, DM no GM, uh, which, which hits you better? <laughs> I like the bots, they don't play less than 30 cent upon lots. Well, there you go. They're good to play then, right? A lot of strong, yeah, and that's a point that you brought up the other day. Like, we have a lot of strong people on this stream, man. Like, um, a lot of people on the stream are in the 95 plus percentile at the time controls that they play and stuff. I mean, that's, we have some very, very, very talented people. We have some people like Jen that are like in that 99, like the really like, it's hard, you know? So, if we can get like a class style tournament or something, well, that'd be kind of cool. Get people playing based on rating and stuff and, So yeah, plays chess at work seems to be coming through here. Nice little, uh, nice little queen's queen action going on. King running out of squares. She she's forcing him to the edge, right? I mean, look at this stuff, just taking him down. And soon, no more squares. Bot pauses there. That's kind of funny. All right, good job. Plays chess at work. We'll go ahead and advance you on uh, number three position. So well done. And three's over here. Okay, there. And back over. So one more game, and then that was the top. Oh, it's the very first one. That's easy. There we go. Yeah, nicely done. Nicely done. Hmm. I wonder, just, hmm. If there was just some way to see. Man, you know, like these, these layouts, I could take these zero ones away in a better way. If I could just see this layout in OBS and I'm on a different layout, you know what I mean? That's probably one of the next improvements, isn't it? Don't you guys think that'd be the next one? Yeah, Vega. What about Vega, man? Isn't that amazing? Yeah, Vega still. Did I keep his emote? <gasps> I didn't keep my Vega emote. What? What do we have? I gave you guys some new ones. So I kind of was curious how people would use them. And I think I gave you guys, like, Pog or something. I, I tried some different ones for you guys today just to see if any of them would hit the chat. I keep trying to find out what type of uh, emotes we'd use. The, the Grinch is good luck. Uh, it was an interesting choice and doesn't seem as popular as I thought it might be. <laughs> Good luck, Grinch. Not really working out for me, right? But keep trying, I guess. And, uh, oh. Three and three. Yep, we're good. So, <laughs> aw, that's nice. Let's give a shout out to Vega as well. What a great streamer. Yeah, see, hello, Pog. There you go. You can do all kinds of, you can put them together and write sentences and stuff, you know? Like a little bit, I guess. So, like, when I lose a game, you guys could do that. You guys can be like, coach got knocked out. Coach knockout, you know? <laughs> or um, maybe I win the game and then it changes. You guys are like, well, okay, well, let's, uh, let's do this, you know? You put these three together, it's like, hey, coach. <laughs> Although I don't think people have access to hype. I think hype's uh, inaccessible. So you do like that one. You do like the knockout one? Right, you guys could try that as well, so. <laughs> Man, Vinny, is that Vinny doing that with knight to c6? Look at Vinny with this, uh... well, it looks uncomfortable, right? Knight's kind of holding that rook there. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> kind of combine those together in a fun way, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, there's lots of ways to mix and match these guys. That's all I'm saying. 
And I was trying to go for some of the most interactive emotes I could think of. Why did the knight leave C6? Anybody? The knight was awfully good on C6. Well, then we're, so, uh, we're celebrating the troll at that point, though. Maybe, though. I don't know. Oh. Well. Man, Vinny. What? What? The choice was here or here. Didn't take the knight. Wow, I did not see that one coming. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> it's a synthesizer, but I can pretend like it's drums, you know? Some parts of this. <laughs> Sounds synthesized anyway. So we're just a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Finny had the knife. Hmm. Ah, look at this move. Look at this move, huh? Vinny getting a little bit creative here at the end. <laughs> the creative, the creative, exciting move at the end of this thing. Oh, ho, ho. and Gaul says, Touche. Touche, I play this way. Nice, nice fine Gaul. Look at that. That was sweet. That was nice. Nice movement. They're bringing the queen over to block and uh, king captures. But, uh, I mean... Vinny's got that second life with these pawns coming down still, right? They got a got pawns running. <laughs> That's exciting. Wow. Definitely enjoy that. Troll under a bridge, huh? <laughs> you can create anything. Troll under a bridge. I guess maybe. It's like the game that never ends. Like somehow there's always a little bit more play. And maybe the way was to keep the rook though, because Gaul did have the option to queen, have a rook versus a queen, like rook and queen versus queen. Still would have had all the pawns, but with the queen and the rook on the board, maybe harder. Both. Oh no. Oh no, well, maybe it's okay. This is exciting. Man, what a game. What a game. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even believe it if I didn't see this stuff happen. This is exciting. We'll see if it's better than a draw, but I'm starting to think there might be a chance of that here, so... We shall see, right? Okay, it's a draw. All right, well, you guys know the draw rules, so you guys got to play the same colors again and then read this text. No, you got white gets, white gets six minutes, black gets five minutes. If black draws, black has less time. If black draws, uh, black goes on in the event. So, yeah, very nice game to both you guys. It was uh, pretty exciting. 
Cool, I just did the game that Oski Boy posted a while back, so that's cool that that's there. So yeah, they'll get they'll fire that thing back up again and uh we'll watch the re we'll watch that one get redone, right? Because uh well, we gotta watch uh watch and wait for a winner on that one, right? There we go. There they go. Okay, yeah, so they did it this way. We gotta wait for like one minute to come off before they can actually finish the game, so. All right, Vinny will be right back, he says. Where are you going? Yeah, you do play white again. Hopefully, you got. Yeah, good, good. Good stuff, guys. Well handled. All right. Hopefully, you guys can hear me okay. I just noticed my mic was off to the side a little bit there, so. Hopefully, a bit better now. I'm trying to get these screens in a better position for me. Nice, nice, nice. Do that, I guess. There we go. Seems, uh, seems like it's okay. Nice. I feel like I'm like a little command center here. You're hey, going really well, Blue Elvis. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. Elvis back in the house. So Elvis, I keep rotating out, out these emotes. I was showing these guys. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which way I want to go on half the stuff anymore. I like having the viewer emotes, but then as I get more viewer emotes and I have spots to have you guys have access to them, it's almost like you're picking somebody over somebody else. That doesn't feel good. And then it seems like whoever I guess, <laughs> whoever I guess will be around, that person is like not the one, and the one that I didn't put in is like. I was looking for Bobby the other day. I'm like, don't I have Bobby's emote? I'm like, ah oh, man, I had. Uh, I had put Ben Feingold in there temporarily because I was going to his stream. And I've kind of found that to be the best use of those guys. Um, like if I'm gonna go visit Elvis's stream when I'm not streaming, I should put Elvis in a, a, an emote slot before I go see Elvis's stream to kind of celebrate him and then throw it up on his stream, you know what I mean? And same thing with Vega and Squirrely. So I'm thinking that's probably a better way to use those emotes is actually when I go visit you guys, really give you like a, a special shout out, you know, where it's like, oh wow, you know, Fortuna came over. And I know you'd be streaming at the time, but just like, uh, you know, try to, Show support that way, I guess. So, yeah, it's it's lightning fast. Um, once I'm not sure what changed. Like it, it used to be, a, you had to like wait a while, and then I don't know if they just changed their policy, like whole site or what. But um, yeah, it, it's really fast. I did it before the stream tonight, so I've been trying different ones. I'm trying to figure out what you guys like the most, because you know if we can get an idea of what emotes you guys are actually going to use, especially. Especially the top five, because a lot of people are, are like a tier one sub, but also the cheering. There's like, I guess there's six, right? Because you have the the 1,000 cheer level. It's pretty easy to get to 1,000 with bits. It's not uh, not not, unreason uh, not unreasonable you'd get to like 1,000 at bits over time. Um, so they have to open up like six emotes if you're a sub also. Not to say you guys have to do that stuff. I'm just saying like what would be available to like uh, the entry level, you know, uh, place, right? Because that's the place most people are probably going to be if, if they're anywhere at all, right? So... You consider like what are the five we should give people and that's it's been rough to think about i guess i think um i don't even know if i can identify them without looking it's kind of funny to say that but <laughs> i'm like i don't know um let's see affiliate emotes yeah so i'll, gi I'll give you guys the five i currently have and, and it took me a while to think about this today it could be right it could be wrong right so I was trying these out, so those are the those are like the base five, and then the extra one that I thought you guys might use was actually Coach. Like that's in the thousand bits, so it's those six are the ones I have right now. Like that, uh, 
easiest to access point. Um, but you guys might want to use things like Swindle. Do you guys like using Swindle? Raise the hands. We like Swindle for tuna. <laughs> oh, whoa, we got a result. Oh, it's like the same game. We're waiting for the draw result. Never mind. I was thinking that the, yeah, we were somewhere else, but still waiting for the result of this second game after the draw. Um, but yeah, if we can figure out like, what to put where, you know. Well played. Well played and good game are essentially the same emote. Like, well played, good game. So I, I put well played into like a tier two sub because most people won't really need access to well played if they have good game. Like, kind of already said that. And then I added like a defense one, but like the defense one could be anything else. So I don't know. It's tough. I really thought at the time I bought some of the emotes that I'd have more slots. I thought like, um, I, d I didn't understand how it worked. I thought you could just like buy, like kind of like pay to play kind of thing. I thought, well, if I just keep like gifting subs and stuff, I'd be able to gift to a point where I got more slots. That worked a little bit. <laughs> but then I found out you have to cheer. And then you have to, you have to cheer a lot actually to make it work out, so. Yeah, it's going, I'm doing good. Ro Robirds is in the house. Dude, if you'd been here a little bit sooner, we'd have a couple less bots playing. We have, uh, we had two bots play just now. Um, so like six humans, two bots, right? Vinny, Gall, DM, that's three. Roto, plays chess at work. Maybe only five. You have three bots then? No, I missed somebody. Vinny, Gall, DM, Roto, plays chess. Yeah, so there's five. We should have three bots then. I see one bot. Oh, MGJ. MG. I have read. I read MGJ as the other bot <laughs> again. Whoa! No way, man. No way. That's awesome. Say hi to Eric. He's back. Where have you been, at this? I I lost my lead chest. Or sorry, my uh, YouTube content. Remember you had that really cool game with me. We played. You played like F5. We had a really exciting game. But I lost my content because that other playlist I had was found to be, uh, well, YouTube thought it was a DCMA problem. I don't think it actually is, but I can talk to Twitch. I can't talk to YouTube. So I kept I kept the stuff on Twitch because it's it's legit. But I guess Twitch drops after 14 days anyway. So that is scary, I guess. But Eric Rosen, that's what I was trying to say. Robert's, the game against Eric, Ro Eric Rosen is amazing, man. I've never, I've never gotten to play him. I've never challenged him either, I guess. Can't really play a guy if you don't challenge him, I guess. Was it a simul, or, did, or he, did he play you 1v1, or was it a simul? Yeah, nice to see you again as well, Eric. <laughs> Lots of overdue homework, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Uno Tracero, right? Uno Tracero? <laughs> How can I forget Uno Tracero? I'm gonna get that right every time, man. <laughs> so... Nice. Yeah, I don't know about the emote thing, what to do. Like I said, it's been a real struggle. I like the ninjas. <laughs> One day I was gonna put all the ninjas in there, but then nobody speaks a ninja, so it's not gonna work to have them all be in ninjas, I don't think. But that was an idea I had at one point. It was like the ninja stream. 12 ninjas. And I have to, I have 12 ninjas to put in the chat. I can I can give you guys 12 ninja emotes, which is kind of fun. But uh, <laughs> I liked using them a lot. You can like create chess, uh, chess sentences with them, but I don't know. What to do, right? What to do? I guess I could just look at words you guys are using. Uh, saw, we use S A W a little bit. Stream, we have a stream emote. <laughs> That's a little little babbling brook. <laughs> like for tuna, what is this? Well, it's a babbling brook, like a stream. <laughs> All right. So another end game. Look at this stuff. <laughs> when was the last time you guys saw an end game like this? Well, I mean, white, white's king seems a little bit closer, right? And then there's that classic puzzle. You guys ever do the classic puzzle with the uh, three three pawns on three pawns? Uh, the pawns are fully further advanced on the board, knowing which pawn to push. <laughs> well, here we. I thought I'd never see it, but here we are in a very close position to that. Like, <laughs> I remember when I first saw that, I'm like, I don't think that would ever happen. And then now I'm looking at the board, I'm like, it looks like there's a chance that would happen. Like. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, this is even, some of the end game stuff you look at, and you're like, this is good to know. It's good principles and stuff, but it's like, what are the odds?
the classic breakthrough puzzle. It happened to me twice. How does that happen to you twice? <laughs> In solitaire chess, were you playing against yourself? Did you set up the position or? Yeah, I did some puzzle storm too. Yeah, I can, um, actually maybe I'll, we're on lead chess anyway. Um, I don't have a board though. Hold on. I'll bring it up so you guys can see how I did. I think I showed this earlier, but maybe you guys weren't here. Some people just came in. Um, and it won't hurt to show us while the game's going, I guess, right? Just, uh, I'll click my best run. So there we go. That's, that's tunas right there. I thought I got, I thought I did better. I actually missed a couple. I thought I had, uh, I thought I had really good accuracy, but I think I missed three of them. And then, it, uh, I don't know if it shows like the run or not, but that was that was pretty fun. So that was my score when I played. So records 34, cool. Yeah, I was I was honestly pausing a lot throughout it. Like I was really like looking at some of those. Um, there were a few that like I got them right, but I looked for that for, like a long time to find it. You know. Okay, well I think I think Black is gonna make progress here. I think Gall will win this game. That's my theory with what I'm seeing on the board. It's gonna take a while, but I think it would, I think he'll convert here. So. Yeah, I was not playing. If you guys would have seen me do it, I felt like I was playing really slow. There were some I did quickly, but a lot of them I was like literally like just. I didn't. I didn't want to miss them. I guess. And I'm used to. I'm not used to like a, a race puzzle. I mean, I, you know, obviously chess has that. Same, uh, chess.com has the same idea, but for myself, I usually want to play puzzles like in a more. I've been doing like what do they call those? Uh, that book I keep telling you guys about the end game book that I'm always suggesting on stream. Um, let me look for that real quick in my books. Let's see. Let's go by type end game. And there we go. So if I just put this thing up, I can show you guys. So it's uh, this one right here. I always mention this book, uh, this Domination in 2000, you know, um, this book. And there's a link to it right here if you guys are interested in getting that book. But that to me always, uh, oh, and you guys are we're getting a raid right now. Let's go back and watch the quarterfinals then. Did we really get raided? Whoa, Johnny D coming in with the raid. Holy cow, man. Thank you, Johnny, so much, dude. Didn't expect that. Good to see you guys. Now let's give a shout out to Johnny D as well. Johnny D gives a raid. Thank you, man. Love that you came here. Thank you for choosing this stream today. And welcome, Raiders. Sorry, I was just uh, showing a book that I recommend for end games. And uh, sorry that uh, you know that was up when you guys came over. So, Ochoyo. Uh, Ochoyo? Ochoyo. Ochoyo. Is it Osho? Osho? I don't know how to say it. Osheo? Uh, a couple of ways you go with that, I guess. But thank you for the follow. Sorry. Osheo. Oh, cool. Osheo. That's a nice name. Nice. Osheo. Oh, nice. Thank you. Wonderful to have you here. Yeah, pleasure to have you around. Yeah, oh, definitely. We'll, we'll probably do like two or three tonight. I want to get, I want to give you guys a chance to do some more of those. There's no thank you anymore. I, <laughs> I adjusted the emotes and I got rid of my thank you emote. That's rough right now. I used to usually be able to see that, so. Messages in Slack. <laughs> my my buddy at work is texting me about work, like at this hour, like it's ten o'clock at night. What the heck? <laughs> cool, thanks, man. <laughs> I can't believe he's writing me right now. I've never, I've never had any, I've never had it. Besides myself, I've never seen anybody at work uh, working this late and talking to me. I've reached out to other people at work really late at night, like not not uh, usually. It's actually an application through work. I'm not gonna say what it is, but uh, it's like it's like a messaging system. But he was able to reach me, uh, so wow. Stream. <laughs> I'm just laughing right now. Oh man, it's nice though. He's trying to give me a helpful solution for something I was working on. So. I thought it meant like awesome. Like people on Twitch are using Pog a lot. Like Pog champ mean like awesome champ or something. Is that, anybody got a correction for that? I mean, I think I heard the Pog thing and, oh, G Gaul with the win there. I'm sorry, I'm like over here just yakking it up and everybody's like, Fortuna, Fortuna, Fortuna. All right, um, so we got Gaul going on, that's number one. And then before I do these next pairings, let's go back and clean up that last view. So I usually turn these things off. So I got these little like one O's like where people won and lost and stuff. So I'll take those and put them back. Yeah, that looks a little better. All right, turn my alert back on. Not the alert, there we go. All right, back to main view. Now we're gonna have the semifinals coming up next. Let me get these screens ready. And we're gonna have Aaron Gall with the white pieces and Roto SD with the white pieces. So good luck in your game. Seven plus two casual game. 
Uh, hope you guys do well, you know, and good game, Aaron. Nice job on the converting that win. That was tough, you know, four on three. White's king maybe in a slightly better position at first, um, but he was able to come back and make that happen. So let's watch Aaron Gall down here. And once those games get paired up, I'll take you guys in. So, oh, wow, they're both going too. Shoot, and that's me on Aaron Gall. There we go. All right, so I get that, and we'll head, we'll head over to the semifinals, guys. Semifinal, oops, semifinal right there. Semifinal going on right now, so it's play of games. Oh, it's play of games, really? I did not know. Somebody told me I met like awesome or something. Play of games. I don't really like that that much. It's literally play of games, really? Hey, Z80 girl, how you doing? I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> I'm like, that's what it is? Why? Why did Pog exist? Why did this play of the game? Okay, there it is right there. Before the spread of the internet gaming culture, Pog was a small circular piece of cardboard commonly used to play a game by children and young adults in the 1990s. Now Pog, oh yeah, that little thing you push, right? The little, I remember Pog. I, I didn't play Pog, but I remember seeing people play Pog. Pog can also be, well, that's just so dumb. That's what that comes from. My, dis my disappointment level right now is high. I thought it was like a cool new thing. It's an old thing that got brought back. All right, maybe I should just make an antique one. Hey, look, it's antique. <laughs> that's old. <laughs> -bum -bum. <No. laughs> oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, Johnny. We'll play another one after this for sure. I mean, I, <laughs> when I get all these screens set up, it's nice to keep it going anyway. Be right back, guys. Good luck in these games, too. I see a uh, place chess at work, and uh, let's play. Oh, there, okay, good. Monitors, get rid of <laughs> I might get some new monitor cables eventually. Uh, these monitors, I think with the cats walking around all the time and playing with them and stuff, they could actually, uh, some of those cables could be having problems, you know, so maybe consider getting some new ones eventually. Oh, cool, yeah, we can definitely get people, um, uh, what can I write in right now? Let's see. Notepad? Ah, uh, shoot, see, that's what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to block your guys' view, sorry about that. But yeah, I'm gonna open up a notepad file just to start keeping track of people again so that we don't miss anybody. Um, Aw, oh, crap. Croatia, huh, Nikki? Kimmy, Kimmy's Croatia. Oh, I cannot believe that. All right, hold on. Dang it, I just remembered something. <laughs> it's like stupid stuff. All right, hold on. Uh, shoot. Come on. All right, cool, so I'll send that over. All right, back in here. So Johnny D wanted to, oh, you guys are all, whoa, lots of people want to play. So we got Johnny D, and then we've got uh, Jack's wife. We've got Ola Pals, awesome, guys. Yeah, okay, cool, so that's three, we just need five more. Well, these people are wanting to play, that's good. Good stuff. Let's see how these games are going. Whoa, what? DM. Uh, what am I watching? Crazy stuff. Crazy things are happening on stream. No choice. I was last. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. You can see that. Wow. So I can I can mention it now. In this game. Uh, moments ago, Queen Queen Down was just checkmate, but DM missed the mate and won, so. Which is too bad, because DM, you know, he's he's do a win, you know what I mean? Like he's a. Uh, but Gaul, Gaul able to clean it up, get, create that square with the bishop to f3 for his king. So wow. 
Oh, Vinny wants to play again, huh? Uncle Vinny, right? Is that what I just saw? Yeah, there's Vinny. Okay, so yeah, let's add Vinny back in. All right, take a fast break here. These games are still going. Be right back, guys, and uh, good stuff. Check out the chat one second. And let's go. But anyway, okay, well that's good, I guess, so. Can always take care of it later. Who else wants to play? Vinny's in there. Good stuff, all right. Still in the semifinal, still waiting for that result to see who's gonna win, right, so. Coming in, we'll say not that they'll play. Good, nice to see you again. Faluda with an underscore at the end. Gotta remember that. Nice to see you again. I believe this is still the same game where DM actually had the mate earlier but missed it. Crazy as that is, he missed the mate. We go back and well, we won't go back and look at that. We'll be nice, we won't show that stuff. And go on these pawn endings, huh? <laughs> keeps uh, keeps having some interesting pawn endings in these games. the next one right hopefully you guys didn't like that one too much as I skipped by it pretty nice night so far all friends in the chat people stopping back by I'm pretty nice
Please check that work in Roto SD with an interesting game. Wait to play. Man, and Gall and DM. I mean, these the games are so exciting here at the end. Both these games. You got Rooks and Rooks Pawns and Kings in both of them, you know? Oh, there goes one. White wins. DM throws in the towel there. So Gall with the win. All right, so that is the top board. All right, let's mark that. And then go over and put uh, put Gall into that winner's bracket, right? So Gall is actually going on to the final. Nice job, Aaron Gall. And let's go back and watch, uh, oops, not that one, semi-final, there we go. Watch this last game here finish up, so. <laughs> this is tough, look at this. This is tough. Yeah, you guys both played a good game. Uh, DM, that was exciting. You had Queen H1 mate. Go back and look at that game, DM. You had Queen H1 mate. You were winning. You played like D5 or you played some pawn move. Maybe it was E5. You played a pawn move to let the bishop through. And uh, I'm telling you, DM, you had mate in that game. Queen H1 checkmate with the bishop on E2 still. So it's crazy. Gaul sees it or maybe saw it. I don't know. But yeah, DM had a mate threat and just didn't, uh, didn't get it. So... Oh, the stream title's still wrong. Oh, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, um... Thank you. <laughs> World's Ender, you want to play some Bracket? Now that you're here, let us know this good news and figure things out. I like this song. I like this kind of beat. This is, this is good. I prefer just to have the beat and no words. It's just like this kind of a... Good driving music, in my opinion. Oh, okay. He gave you a take back, so you couldn't do it. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. I see. Well, we'll see if World's Ender wants to come in or not. Looks like maybe not, which is fine. We've got enough with bots to pair up again. We've got five people. Five people with three bots would work, so... This place chest at work, we keep getting these draws. I mean, this uh, this game has that feeling that somehow white and black uh, on either side might uh, might be making progress here. We'll see. Maybe a time difference might be the, the thing, right? Right, exactly. I mean, I guess DM's, DM's like the number one player in the event, so DM doesn't really need the points anyway, so maybe just, uh, you know, letting Gaul back in the event. I'm liking this one. Everyone's getting tricked into the Stafford now? Wow. I'm, I like this song. I gotta see what it is. I'm sorry guys, you guys are going to see something pop up in front of you guys, I just got to know what song it is. The Hydra, oh, it's got a good name too, I like that. I'll be checking this one out again. This might even be going to a different playlist. The magic in ice is so nice. Huh, on the, on the, on the same play, hey, what's up GM Chess King, let's give him a shout out, good to see you my friend. Great to have you here again. Such a nice, such a nice follower. Comes back in, always so supportive and kind when he comes in. It's the stuff that makes streaming easy. <laughs> you feel like you could stream forever. Exactly, right? It's like, this guy's nice. Oh, man. It's nice you guys know each other, too. I like, I like that a lot. The community's really growing, I mean, between like Art Vega's stream, Squirrely, Ovi, you know, uh, Aaron Gall's out there, uh, Elvis, Blue Elvis out there streaming. I mean, we have so many streamers in this chat, you know, it's uh, it's really nice to see all you guys and all of us kind of working. And Johnny D came in with the raid earlier. I mean, lots and lots and lots of uh, streamers um, in this channel, which is great, you know. Um, love seeing you guys and 
it's been a, uh, it's been a good, you know. Try to get more of these shout outs. Sometimes it feels like there's just too many. Some of these, oh, I didn't get, yeah, some of these are older too, but uh, <laughs> the Vega, the Squirrely, they're so far away. I get, uh, shout out maybe? Yeah, I still got far away. That's good. We haven't talked about him much lately, but uh, good, good streamer as well. Thank you, Gal. <laughs> Magic line. All right, I'll check it out. Well, I know this. <laughs> so it's basically like it's like a Jerome, but the other side plays it. It's like the Jerome, then, right? Or is that the one with the knight on C3? I might think of something else. This looks similar to the one that white does, but it's black doing it instead, it looks like. <laughs> what is all this? What? <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> Aaron, if that works, if that works, then why even play chess if games could be that easy? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a draw with proper play. And you, you also always have to, you always have to consider the pawn too. Is a C pawn or a uh, F pawn different somehow? Is there an additional square? Uh, I guess not. Because <laughs> there is there is always the idea if the king gets here even and the king has to move, you can then step forward. You know, there's a, there is an extra way. What happened here? All right, put the pawn forward at the wrong time. Yeah, oh, whatever. All right, guys. Yeah, that's a draw. You guys got to do your game again, so. All right, here's the draw command. So we'll see. Roto SD will again have the same pieces. The, what was Roto? Roto will be white again. Place chess at work will be black again. And, uh, you know, it'll be a five to a six. So we'll see. White had the extra minute and Serenity's here. Hey, Serenity, how you doing? Great to see you again. Hi, Serenity. Aw. Comes back again. Always these nice faces coming back is nice. And we don't, we don't have any kind of follower thing on right now. It's all nice. Uh, no no wait to follow or whatever. My alerts have been off and on, I guess, in terms of being available. But slowly going to start bringing those back, hopefully. All right, here we go again. So we're waiting an extra minute as the time comes off the clock. And uh, off we go. And thanks for sharing that game, Aaron Gall, as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, not something I'll be playing in the near future. It's a little... I can see how it works. I can see that it's neat, but um, I don't know. <laughs> a little bit ridiculous. I'd be annoyed if I lost to that, I'll tell you that. <laughs> be like, wait a minute, what just happened here? <laughs> the whole way through that game, I kept thinking like, and now white's got nothing, and now white's got nothing, and now, and then I was in your mate, you're like, oh, but that's mate, I guess, so white has mate. Ah, tough stuff. I'm liking the new colors here. I don't know how you guys feel about the colors, but I think this uh, color scheme looks nice with the bracket and the, the background and stuff kind of being more subdued. The board's kind of fading off into the background instead of, uh, you know, kind of popping out more, so. The edge is kind of goofy on that one, though. Well, I guessed right. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> It's it's a gradient where the gradients don't match. That's what it is. Hmm. Yeah, thanks, Vinny. So we, so Fortuna can leave the boards alone. <laughs> is DM out there? DM's usually good about telling me about this stuff too. He'll be like, Fortuna, your pixel it's off. Fix the thing. All right, so I've got Johnny D, Jack's wife, Ola pals, Uncle Vinny, Faluda, Serenity. Did you want to play? Lots of room. We got three more spots here. So she comes in as the sixth player. Serenity's in. Good stuff. Thank you, Serenity. Hopefully you have fun. Two bots, maybe. 
two bots, nothing but bots. Dos Batos. Batosauruses. If you need one, well DM, yeah, you can come and DM if you want, that'd be cool. We, st we still need one more though. Now we now what? Uh, DM's in, Serenity's in, one more player, and we are there. DM working on insurmountable amount of uh, stuff here. Yep, you're in DM. Good stuff. Yasin, Yasin's coming in. All right, well, there we go. That's a full house. So as soon as we go back to Merc, the winner of this one, we'll be all set to pair up the next one. Now I do need to save um, the record real quick for the current bracket, but we don't have to score it and everything. We can always do that later, move around people and stuff, so. And of course, yesterday, no movement in the bracket because no brackets yesterday, so. No, we, we're all set, Gall. We got eight, we're good. You can, you can sleep. You're allowed to sleep tonight, man. You're good. Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh. Roto missed a sick move. Roto missed a sick move just now. With the queen's... Yeah, that, that was the move a moment ago. With the queen here. Tack both. And uh, I guess it's not so great. She can just move. Uh, but if the queen took the queen, you had check and takes back. That was, that's what I was seeing. It was queen takes queen, you, you get this. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was so cool. I guess maybe because at the end of it, you get this move. That's probably what makes it good. So you'd like take, queen would recapture, bishop over here. But it's still really good, so. Uh, early February, so we'll be uh, talking about that. Probably, I guess what, February? We can talk about like the night, the very first day of February, we'll talk about that. Definitely some some things I want to think about, you know. Um, DMs had some ideas on how the pairings could go. The hard thing is to be getting the right people here at the right time, because I'd really like to watch those games, you know. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have shown what I've shown. <laughs> See, this is why I can't ever, I keep wanting to do commentary and, and talk, but it's like, somehow, I feel like I influenced the game. I don't like it. But I mean, that move, it's uh, kind of obvious. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe Black needed to do this, right? So I don't know. Or wait, me and you to do this. So let's see. Johnny D, Johnny D, Jack Swipe, Olapels, Uncle Vinny, Faluda, Serenity, DM, Yasin. All eight players coming up the next bracket. But yeah, it should be should be good, and we'll try to make it too, so you guys uh, have no trouble getting here and stuff. So, you know, in terms of like the days that you guys play, so we'll try to figure it out that way. We'll have so many people, right? And then because it's like a final, I'd like to play play through. Whoa, ah, caught. All right, so Roto, Roto with the win there. Let's go back and advance Roto on. So Roto goes in. Uh, and then we'll, before we do the semi, or the final rather, we'll go fix that again. Uh, same problems here. I always leave this stuff and then I get upset at myself later for leaving those things over there. So yeah, let's go back here. Uh, we got the final coming up with Gaul versus, um, well, Roto, right? Both those are loaded up already. Cool. So once you guys get paired, I'm already ready to go for that final game. And good luck to both of you. And then, like I said, I can uh, get those pairings going as well. So I'll grab this and uh, I'll start looking for players here in a moment. I got DM in there already, of course. And... Uh, See when Gaul. Oh, am I watching the wrong players? Oh, I am. Let's go, Aaron Gaul. Gaul making it to the final again. That'd be great for him. It should secure him, I would think, in the uh, Sweet 16. It'd be really hard for him to get kicked out now, I would think. So, oh, we gotta look at colors. You guys waiting for colors, probably? Uh, let's see. Here. Gaul was white. Gaul was black. Or sorry, black then white. And then Roto was uh, black and then white. So Roto, Roto gets white. Roto gets white. So. Yeah, I was doing that before. It's the top always gets it, but then this, see, look at the bottom, uh, the bottom of the screen there, uh, Vinny, it says colors in the final determined by director. So Aaron, Aaron, right? And then you got Roto, Roto, so Roto gets white. Cool, you guys got it. Nicely done. All right, let's go watch the final, guys. Oh, sorry, right here, final. There we go. All right, meanwhile, coach is going to start getting some scores in here. Uh, control Z, Z, Z. There we go. This one. All right. Go find these players, right? So who did I have? That's over here. Oh, I didn't give you guys your points earlier either. You know, it's hard to keep a track of all this. I'll be honest. The predictions, everything else on top of it. Where did the prediction thing go? Dun, 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 dun. 
Choose an outcome. <laughs> there we go. All right. Did I get that? Oh, hopefully I got that right. Uh, the early rounds, uh, the top player is always white in the early rounds. Top player in the early round is always white. I used to have the kings on there, but nobody ever saw the kings, so I took them off. <laughs> Those kings are gone now. Okay, back over here. So we've got Uncle Vinny. And 6093. Just pairing everybody up for the next one. Jack Swift, Giant D, 53, 36. And then we've got Paluda and Serenity. Paluda, 4086. 4086. And 1063. And then, DM and Yasin. Oh, Deem's already there. Yeah, I've seen them. 34. This should be everybody. It's fine if I've got enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, okay, good. So I'll be all set to pair you guys once this is over. Yeah, it's the way we've done it the whole time. So, and then the idea, too, is... Uh, check. It does help it. Nice to see you guys again. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this music too. A little Harris Heller mix, so different songs on tonight than usual. I realize now my background really isn't the best for what I'm wearing, but I always wear black and I always have a black background now. Maybe I can make a different one for that eventually. I'll sneak one in possibly. Let's see what we got here. This guy maybe? I didn't even do anything. Oh, that was that one. That's not what I wanted to change. Okay, go back to that. There it is. Alright, yeah, this will be better, I think, once I get this one changed. <laughs> that doesn't look right, does it? No. No, it does not. It's too small for one thing. That's what I was thinking though, something like that where I kind of stick up. You know, I'm, I'm wearing I'm wearing all black, so maybe not black in the background, you know? Seems like that's somehow wrong. Black on black, what am I doing, right? Is it a funeral? <laughs> am I streaming a funeral, guys? No, that just seems a little better to me, so. All right, queens are gone. I look away from it and the queens go away. Probably what? Queen G5, queen capture something? The, oh, the music? Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, no, it's... Uh, I get a I need to type faster here. Go left hand. 
slow typing with the left hand apparently. All right, so I got a prediction out there. If you guys want to do that, you're welcome to. Well, it's not Johnny Cash though. Are you talking about the music? It's uh, Harris Heller. It's all of the copyright free stuff. Oh, are you saying for the, oh, of course. You're not talking about the music. You're talking about, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> of course, of course that's what you mean, right? So, ah, at the edge there. Hate giving that away. There we go. I can always scoot over a little bit too. That puts me a little more centered. Just move this table over slightly. There's like a slight, like something right in my, my uh, thing here that makes my chair kind of go to the left or right, but let it work. The man in black, yeah, there you go. I definitely change uh, change the outfits a little bit once in a while. I got blue underneath. I got to go blue, right? <laughs> what is this thing? Oakley. We got Oakley shirt on here, so. <laughs> Hopefully Oakley doesn't complain that I, uh, you know, showed that on the stream, right? Oh no! You you advertised for us on stream. Don't do it. Nah. All thinking here, looking it in. So yeah, we should, uh, I think we'll hit 2,000 followers by May. I would, I would guess by May 13th, uh, we'll hit 2,000 followers. So, could be a nice birthday present for me. <laughs> it happens, right? All went this way, huh? Man, I don't know. I was, I was thinking a different square myself, but. Final could probably be bigger. Is that the alert that's doing that? Where's the alert at? There it is. Ah, yep. I was wondering why final was so far up there. It's because of the alert box. Makes sense, I guess. Save room. I feel like make the final bigger though. I don't know. I always, I always liked before when like the like each round like the text got a little bit bigger somehow, and then the finals like matching the bracket color, just kind of a fun. I don't know. All unnecessary stuff, but kind of fun. So. Brady, Nate Brady just went live. If you guys, you guys should check out Nate Brady. He came by earlier. He actually gave a, a host here. Um, so, play. Uh, get his name. The way he shows up. He's been really good to my streams. If you guys can go check him out, that'd be kind of cool. A couple of you guys want to go, maybe say hi or follow or you know, stay there for a while. Um, Nate Brady is a good guy. He's been very, very good to the streams. So. I'm gonna go over there. <laughs> if you guys aren't going, I'm going. All right, here we go. So let's go say hi. So cool. All right. All right, cool. There we go. So, um, I was already following him, which is good. But yeah, I figure um, hopefully he does well. I see Rosen. Rosen might be out there too. Looks like uh, Rosen might be live from uh, what I saw in Leech House too. So, all right. Meanwhile, Roto making some progress, huh? I wonder how different if Gall had played Knight to D4 earlier. He played Knight to E5, but if, if he plays Knight to um, D4, I wonder how different that game would have gone. Could have been. Could have possibly made a bit of a difference, I think. Knight on d4, covering the d6 pawn earlier. Also, maybe controlling squares around the king, like e2 and f3, allowing some like dangerous checks, potentially. See, the bishop's on d5, though, so I mean, they would kind of counteract each other, but...
I don't know if I like the pink as much. I don't know. What do you guys think? Pink okay? <laughs> hey, what's up? Nyang. Nyang 1128. Good to see you. Yeah, it is a good match, right? Man, it's pass a piece. Yeah, exactly right. So, you could also just do the same background or this one. Draw. Oh, well, game. <laughs> Another draw. That's every round has had a draw now, right? If I'm, if I'm keeping track of this properly. That might be the first bracket ever we've had a draw every single round. I don't know that uh, we've ever seen that before. Pretty uh, <laughs> pretty intense there. Like, how does that happen? Round after round after round. And another draw. There we go. I like this one. I think I'll use this. This looks like it matches better at least, so... Good luck, guys. So... I'll be right back to watch this uh, rerun of the final. Same color, same time control, but, oh sorry, different time control. We got six for white, five for black, right? So, not oh, just streaming, but streaming chess. Okay, what did I miss? Coming back in. Looks like I didn't miss a whole lot. The time just kind of getting going here. Good. Good, I didn't miss too much. Oh, wow, this move. This is the anti... That's an anti-bird. I saw this on Chessable. That bishop g5 is the anti... Uh, oh, it's Dutch, I'm sorry. Anti-Dutch, though. Chessable has that. That's really cool. Newest follower. Okay, thank you. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice? All right, well, you guys know what that means, so... We go, we go uh, put up our defenses, right? That's what happens when we do that stuff, so. No worries. Good to see you guys, so. And thank you guys so much for looking out for me. Appreciate what I have going on here. You guys are wonderful, you know that? Got good people here. Good people in the house, you know? Always good, so. All right, so let's go. Let's go there. Awesome, you guys are the best, you know what? I don't know what I'd do without you guys. It's so funny that people, like, would do that, though. Anyway. Keep an eye on the final. No reason to give this uh, any more attention, so. <laughs> there we go. So, <laughs> we see it and we uh, we react, right? So, and Trevlar, Trevlar with the band. Go Trevlar. Man, I love you guys. I love you guys. That's awesome. <laughs> you can't ask for better than that. Oh man, I was, <laughs> as a streamer, I can't tell you guys how happy I am right now. You guys are awesome. Go team, go, you know? It's nice. And yeah, if you guys are going to go out there and stream, make sure you get some friends, you know, come into the stream with you, because it can be, can be stressful otherwise. I feel happy right now. Ooh. 
I shouldn't react. I shouldn't react to these things. I'm making faces over here. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> you guys are like, coach, you can't make faces. I'm like, I know, I know. <laughs> I shouldn't do anything else while these games are going on. I should, I should play my own games on chess.com. Anything to like distract me from, from patterns, you know? It's like... Roto, Roto baited that one, though, pretty good. Pretty good bait there. Not the not in the game, but the uh, the action there by Trevlar. Good job, Trevlar. Should have done at Trevlar on that. And he's not even. How, he's just <laughs> he's just out in the distance somewhere doing this stuff. <laughs> oh man. But yeah. So one side, I think Ser I think Serenity right now. Serenity is at like a one month follower mark. But as Serenity moves up, so she'll move eventually to being like a three month follower. Once she's there, I think I'm gonna go to three month follows. So you'll, you'll watch the stream for three months and then you can chat. And then at that point, if someone is like, you know, like mega troll and is willing to wait three months, well, you know, power to them. <laughs> three months and then the ban. <laughs> well, that's a good amount of time. Anyway. One month, one day, 22 hours. Okay, well, I mean, get through February and March, get to this first quarter of the year, and we're ready to start doing the longer uh, longer follows, right? Month's almost over, guys. Getting pretty close. So we're doing that uh, Sweet 16 bracket before we know it now. Pretty awesome. I can't wait. Nine months, four weeks. Well, there you go, old pals. You're safe. <laughs> Make it one year to follow now. I don't think only three months is the longest, isn't it? I bet you it is. What is the longest we can wait? Yeah, three months is the long one, so. <laughs> three months. You guys imagine having that setting on? <laughs> If that doesn't say happy where you are, what does, right? <laughs> Best is to choose 5 0 for black and white. That's what we did. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh, you're saying to add it that way? Some people have that disabled, though, Johnny. You're right, that is the more efficient way, but some players do disable that. Wow, one year, holy cow. How are you here for a year already? Man, you must have been around like almost when I first started then. <laughs> Everybody's executing a command that won't go again. I said whoa a little bit there. I was like, oh my gosh, she's gonna come back. So do we have a new word for on stream now? You know how they say like people are gullible? Maybe some people are gullible, meaning gall can beat them, right? Ah, oh. I, <laughs> what? Well, maybe not so bad. He might, I think he solved it. He's probably fine. I definitely considered a different move there, but I think gall still has this. Nice job, buddy. <laughs> he had he had that same move a minute ago. He had 
If the queen was here, it could have also taken that thing. And then actually wasn't, uh, hold on. I was trying to mate the king. Maybe it's dangerous. Yeah, I think the way all Gaul played it's really good. Nicely done, Gaul. Nicely done, man. Gaul with a win. Winning the final. Takes it. Oh my gosh, I'm on the wrong screen. I was, I was loading you guys up earlier for this. Okay, here we go. So Aaron Gaul wins the event, man. Gaul, that's going to be huge for you, man. Be moving up there, so. By your humble servant. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I was like, where's the confetti at? There we go. Much better. Go, Gaul. It's Aaron Gaul. Who won this thing? Gaul won this thing. Let's get a. Uh, this is priceless, right? So let's go in here and let's get a. Uh, well, I mean, it is Gaul. We gotta do something. Uh, there we go. Do. Hold on, guys. Tuna's feeling stuff right now. I gotta make things happen. Where is it at? Uh, five, six. Gotta be six, right? Yeah, there it is. Aha! Here we go! Ta da! Gaul wins. There we go. Little. A little Gaul celebration there on the uh, the Gaul win. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, all right. So I'll leave that there for a second, and uh, we can go ahead and get the other one. Uh, well, we can get another one paired up, right? We got. Uh, I think we got all the guys. I got to move this row back though, so you guys can enjoy that for a moment, and I will go take our current data and back it up. So good job, Aaron Gaul, though, man. Nice, nicely done. Tough game, you know. You fell behind due to a trap, but you're able to come back. Nicely done. Those games are hard to win too, and you drop a piece. In the opening, it's like, oh no, wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, I didn't really refresh this, that's why. <laughs> I'm like, my data doesn't look right. No, 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 that's fine. There he is, there's Gaul winning. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Copy that. All right, copy that, paste that. Do, do, do. Make sure I got it all on the right. Rerun this. Ta da! Gaul! And that was our, well, that was our 43rd, 43 brackets, 43 brackets this month. Okay, cool. And then you guys are getting paired up, so I'll grab this and run it. And uh, that should do it. So if I hit reset the bracket and go back in, there we are. We got a new pairing. That doesn't look right. That's the one we just did. That's the one we just did. Do we not have more people? I thought we, oh, I got to enter them in? Oh, I didn't enter them in yet. Darn it. <laughs> I thought I was all set, but no, I'm a, I'm a step behind her. Sorry, guys. I got to go find everybody. <sighs> Johnny D, okay. 36, okay. Sorry about that. Is DM in that list? DM is in that list. Okay, so... Yeah, okay. It's looking kind of similar from those things. The same people, but it's different. Okay, Jack's wife is coming in. 53. Already there. Did I already... Hmm. It's like I'm seeing... Seeing double again. All right. <laughs> uh, Ola Pels. Coming in at 14. Cool. Yeah, okay, so this is new. Good. All right. Coach is getting old, guys. I'm, like, I'm looking at the results. I'm like, are these the same players we just had? But some of the same players are coming back. So that's where I got uh, confused a little bit. Okay, um, Uncle Vinny. Vinny 6093. And then we've got, who else is coming in here? Faluda. There you are. And Gaul's still sitting on my screen. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I guess we could disable the Gaul win message for now since that. <laughs> This taste up there, you're like, wait, what? What is this? Uh, Fluido was 4,086. Is that the last one? No, yeah, this one. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, two more, okay, good. And then I've got Serenity and Yasin. Serenity, 1,063, which I just delete, deleted coincidentally, it's kind of funny. How's that possible? And Yasin, 34, okay, cool. So. We'll try this thing out. Hopefully you guys see the right names when we do this and uh, execute, go back to our bracket, go back in. Cool, those look like the right people to me. All right. So um, remember white gets the uh, white pieces first. So um, plus this again. Sorry, the top top player gets white pieces. I'm sorry, so I was trying to say. Top player gets the white pieces. Um, I'm just gonna go find all these games real quick. That's what I need to do. So we've got DM not GM. Try to do this better than last time. Holy cow, did you guys see that last time? <laughs> Coach was struggling. It got rough. Jack's wife, 9-0. Jack's wife, 9. There you are. Good. And then this one goes here. Are you kidding me? Come on. There we go. Okay, and I've got Uncle Vinny. And remember, all these players I'm saying, these are the top players. They all have the white pieces. Go. And we've also lastly got Faluda. Faluda, good luck. Good luck, everybody. And uh, in we go to this uh, quarterfinal. 
I think the emote needs a two Queen H5 tattoo. <laughs> Maybe. We could do we might be able to arrange something like that. <laughs> tattoo it. Where'd my background go? Oh jeez. Where'd my background go? Pro stream. What the heck is going on here? Oh there it is, I'll on Discord. Weird stuff going on with my overlay right now. What the? I have two pro streams in here. Holy cow, I have two of my video in here. <laughs> All right, I'll delete one of those. Oh, it's at the top now, I see, okay. There it is, okay, cool, there. I was like, where my background go? But I found it, okay, cool. Oh, I'm sorry, DM needs a really chest name. I'm so sorry, DM, let's send that to you. Um, oh, I could have given you the names as well. Sorry about this. I didn't even use that query that I created to give you guys the names. Um, I should totally be doing that as well. Sorry about that, let's go get that query real quick. Um, put this over here. I will give you guys a list of names, so sorry. That was, uh, control C. Oh, this is actually already set up to go without even doing that. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome what I did. Didn't realize they made it this easy. That, run it. Okay, so here's all the players. I'm so sorry, guys. I do. I can create this list for you guys quickly. There's a list of players that are playing right now. So, if you can find the person you're supposed to play in there, I'm so sorry about that. That would. Uh, I meant to be doing that in these brackets. So, hopefully that'll help out with the pairings and uh, the two people we don't see playing. So DM, you're playing uh, Yasin, and then and, and DM is white, and then also, um, let's see here. Is it Vinny that's missing? Uncle Vinny's there. Faluda's there. So that leaves Jack's wife. Jack's wife and Serenity now. So uh, Jack's wife, you're white against Serenity now, if, if you're here, so. There you go, so, and you can grab the name right out of there. Click on that name, and you should take it right into the pairing. My bad for not giving you guys that. Those are not a lot easier. So sorry, that's like a very simple thing for me to create for you guys. And we can definitely keep that going throughout the rest of the event as well. Uh, making the pairings and everything a little bit easier, right, so. Good stuff. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Serenity. And, and no worries. Hopefully it gets paired up soon. And Jack's wife, hopefully she's, uh, maybe she got, to, oh my gosh, and there's already a score here that should be here. Oh, geez. That is down here. My bad, guys. There we go. That game's still active, but it's not over. Game is still active. Sorry about that. No, no, no. I'm, uh, <laughs> I think I know who that is. <laughs> What's up, my friend? What is up, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know who you are. Thank you for your help tonight as well. If you're who I think you are. I really appreciate the message and uh, you looking into that. So <laughs> This is uh, quite the community we got here. A lot of friends on the stream right now and uh, watching an event go. And yeah, I've got a query that returns this. So it gives them all the different players to click on to get the, the pairings done for the bracket. And then here's the bracket we're doing right now. So you can see uh, the different people that have come in. Um, <laughs> Pretty cool, right? All right, Jack's wife was uh, gonna be right back in there to play hopefully in a second. Her game is not active yet. So we're still waiting for Jack's wife to get paired up with Serenity. Uh, Serenity has challenged you, so. Of course, I guess it could be somebody else as well. PSN could be a couple different people, I guess. But anyway, good to see you and uh, hopefully you're having a good night, so. Had my theory though, went with it. <laughs> when in doubt, right? All right, good. Everybody's all paired up, and uh, this is the quarterfinal. So, following this, we'll have a semifinal, and then of course the final out of those semifinal winners. And everybody's playing for that end of the month uh, Sweet 16. So right now, I haven't shown this yet tonight, but this is the Sweet 16 picture right here. So, uh, DM No GM was in the lead. Jen Patterson was in second. Serenity in ninth. Uh, Twitchfish tenth. Blue Elvis in fifth. Cheesemate sixth, and and so on and so forth. So. Um, but some of the other guys, Gall was already number three, so Gall could actually be getting closer to uh, a ch um, Goth Girl. Gall, Gall might even pass Goth Girl with what he's done. And Bobby hasn't been playing tonight. So we'll go back to this bracket and get right back into the action in the quarterfinal. So, <laughs> sounds like a yoga class. <laughs> All right, well, here we are. And thanks a lot for coming. If you're here for the first time, appreciate you checking out the stream. And uh, please come back again sometime. If you enjoy it, you know, don't come back again if you don't like it. <laughs> if you don't like the stream, don't bother. But if you enjoy where you're at, feel free to come back. 
No pressure, right? Hey, what? Plays chess at work. What the heck are you doing, man? What was this? 10? 10 tier one subs, what? Oh my gosh, man, that is that is wonderful. Thank you for that so much. Wow, place chest of work. Thank you so much, man. That is way too, way too kind of you. Holy cow. Wow. Oh, cool, and uh, Mr. Soul got one, I see. Been coming by, what? Gabo Columbia's in that list, Warnaki's in there. All right, nice. Kind of looking through the list for some of our the Chess Ninja 777 has been around a lot. Cool. Thank you so much, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Gobble Columbia's like, dude. <laughs> there it is. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much for, place, for that place, Chess at Work. Wow. Man. You just you just never you never know what to expect on the stream. It's nice, guys. So Jack Swipe, all these games still active. No, nobody's won in the quarterfinal yet. <laughs> Sof912 coming in with a sub. Whoa. Oh, sorry, it's still doing the uh, going through those. I was like, wait, but yeah, it makes sense. All the alerts are gonna go off. Oh, they're over the game though. Let me um because there is a streak of these. Let me change that alert position for you guys so you can see the game still as these alerts are going off. Uh, maybe just put this uh, over me. I'll put it over me. Uh, so here it should be over that anyway. Yeah, it's probably. I'll just put them up here somewhere, maybe centered. It's kind of coming in, so I don't know, something like that. Maybe next to the board. There we go. But yeah, thank you so much for, for that place, Chess at Work. Awfully nice of you. There we go. So some names come in and uh, good to go. And good luck, everybody. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, if you're playing, you're doing well. And oh, really? No way, man. Yeah, I had a pretty rough day a few days ago. Thank you so much. <laughs> Were, place chess at work. Were you here my really rough day? Were you around for the really rough day for me on stream? Not too long ago. I still don't know how that happened. I'm so gullible. I was so gullible with that. So gullible. <laughs> somebody, just so you guys know, if you're a streamer out there, if somebody comes in your chat and they talk about knowing your brother, and if they talk about knowing your brother, or they talk about things that like have them like knowing like things that maybe they shouldn't know about you, that is not a chance to open up to them and assume that they're good for you. Like, you should look at that and be very afraid. Like, that could be like a stalker. That could be like, you know, I would encourage you on your own streams to just say, you know, no family stuff. Uh, I was a little bit naive with it and I kind of uh, began talking with this individual, but definitely, you know, my rule now is if I see somebody reference my brother in chat, it's like instant ban. Like, if they're like, hey, I'm friends with your brother, I'd be like, ban, like right there. Like, and I have told my family too, I'm like, not, well, my mom, my mom watches the stream. I know who she is, but besides her, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, no, you're out of here. Like, I'm not, I'm not dealing with that again. So, yeah, I mean, this guy was like, it was really creepy. He, would, he actually faced, he, he Facebook or social media stalked. There might be other ways to do that too, I guess. My girlfriend, he, he social media stalked her, so he could say really creepy stuff, like really creepy stuff. And I was like, that's not cool. But I think, um, hopefully, I was hoping that person had a friend, cause like. When you do something that's like really bad in life, like when you go to like a level that's like really, really bad, either like the law will notice you or like your friends will notice you in a bad way. You know what I mean? Like I could see that person like joking around the next day, like, you know what I did on Fortuna's stream? And like the person didn't react the way they expected. The person's like, no nah, man, that's not, that's not funny. That's kind of wrong. Like you're, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's like funny troll and then there's like, dude, that's kind of sick. You know what I mean? Like that's the, that's kind of the problem I think so. <laughs> anyway. Uh, good games, guys, and uh, yeah, that that could be the case too. But I mean, you figure if they have anyone in their social, <laughs> if anyone is around them evaluating them. But yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe not. So, which is kind of sad, you know. That I don't wish that for anybody. You know, I um, I had times in my life when I was pretty lonely and stuff. That's not what I want for anybody. You want them to. Everybody should have at least one friend, you know, at least one. I always at least had a you know, invisible friends were nice. I had some of those when I was younger. No, I had real ones too, but. <laughs> you know, what's the, uh, what's the biggest way an invisible friend can let you down? Anybody got this? <laughs> Best way an invisible friend can let you, let you down. What do you guys think? Well, I got I to pay out a prediction as well. There we go. And uh, are any of these games still equal? A little bit far into them. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm doing a prediction. Oh, I can do a different kind of prediction, I guess. 
We've been trying to do predictions in general on the stream, so I can maybe just do a different type, so. All right, so that's a little different prediction I got going here, but um, and they look like they're both pretty close right now, so there's a prediction for you guys. Um, probably meet you in real life, what? Yeah, a few days back, that stuff is creepy. Those people, yeah. Show up in a visible way. <laughs> probably meet you in real life. And I don't know, it was easy to meet Aaron Gall in real life. I don't know if I'd actually meet too many other people in real life after that experience, like I feel like it's like you go from like naive to not naive pretty fast when that stuff happens. It's like, ugh, not good. I never even, th I don't know, I just never even thought about that stuff, so. So let's see, Yasin trying to find a move. Did you buy game stocks? What the heck are you talking about? Okay, so yeah, that one's over. So it looks like um, the white side has won that. So DM, DM no GM. Nice job, man. DM coming through with a win. Very well played. Let's get that marked up there. And uh... <laughs> yeah, maybe, right? Um, I'll wait. I'll let you guys guess a little bit longer there. Um, but uh, let's go back here and mark this real quick. So DM moves on our number five seed that's an upset number five beats uh, number one that is unexpected actually i'm getting this right aren't i yep wow just a little, a little surprise but it's awesome good job so nope didn't ever do that <laughs> no oh oh you're talking about the big fall today yeah i did see that the game gamestop had a big fall i, I don't uh i did not do that so all right, anyway, let's go look mark this one. Second bull road has white winning. Cool. And uh, on we go. So that's an upset. If they're 0-1 in, the, in this round, if it's 0-1, oh, wow, there's another one. So Serenity uh, against Jack's wife. Looks like Serenity has won that one. Good job, Serenity, coming through on that board. So that'll be third board. Two, three. Black wins. Was oh, that right? One, two, three. There it is. Okay, good job, Serenity. And uh, I will go over now. And uh, mark this result. So Serenity comes in. Serenity is number four. All right, four player advancing. Nice job. And back over to the quarterfinals for two more games. Still going. Yeah, good to see you, place, Justin. Work. You have hopefully you have a better day tomorrow, man. Nice to see you again. Thanks so much for being here. And thanks for all the gift subs. And um, you take care of yourself, man. That's fantastic. You just don't expect that. And uh... oh, there's another game that's over. Um, what did I miss here? O dash one Serenity. And then this one, Ola Pals. Ola Pals winning against Vinny. Good job, Ola Pals against Vinny. And that is the bottom right, so that's the last one. Black winning again. Yep, there we go, and back to main view. Nicely done, Ola Pals, our number two seed. So number two advancing, and with number one eliminated, Ola Pals, now our top seed by rating, still active in this event. Good job, Ola Pals. <laughs> Always nice to have a friend doing that stuff. You know, a lot of you guys are friends, and actually I think everybody in this event is somebody I either know or talk to on stream quite a bit, so can't really say it that way, but good job, Ola Pals. Lots of support, lots of uh, lots of time you spent here. And I always enjoy enjoy seeing you, so thank you. <laughs> Get ten gift subs, man. That's crazy. I was, I, to be honest, the first time you guys subbed, I was a little bit uh, surprised when people started subbing to me. I was like, wait, what? Like, um, really, just expected to take my hobby and my love of chess into a place where I could just play with people. You know, I didn't expect the. Uh, I don't know. It, it, I know other types of games like that they get uh, subs as well, but I was really expecting a, um, I don't trying to say this, just different, I thought it'd be like grandmasters, like different people that might get that, so. Not sure how I did, by the way, sorry for leaving you guys. Wait, didn't know I was playing until I saw. Oh, no worries, no worries, you're fine. That's fine. That stuff happens, I mean, it can take a long time. We were playing another event and uh, it's really hard when there's another event going on to like wait, you know, so that's fine. Yeah, exactly. All right, so this this last game here, Johnny D really low on time. Can Johnny T, remember you do get the extra two seconds though. So that could work out okay. Extra two seconds could make this work out okay. Huh, 
That's an interesting move. Wow. Knight, that was... Oh, ho, 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 ho. and look at D with the fireworks. What? Look at D with the fireworks here. <laughs> it all looks so good for a minute, you know? And then you see that move by Black and you're like, wait a minute. Man, I saw Knight F6 and I was like, it looks awfully good, but Black responded in a very accurate way and it's like, well now, all I need to do is stop this pawn, right? Wow. <laughs> we might have this going to Armageddon. Might be another uh, draw, right? Yeah, it looks like a draw to me. Extra, oh, <laughs> going for the time win with the Knights. Classy, no, all right. <laughs> there it is, good stuff, you guys are. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put the Armageddon rules up and uh, a 5-0 is actually better, right? So we do 5-0, 5-0, and then black can gift white uh, the 15 seconds four times to make it six to five for the Armageddon. And of course, black with the five minutes, uh, having less time, if they win, or sorry, if they draw, they get to go on. So in the event of a draw, he goes on. Hey, look at this, much better. 6-15. Excellent, went a little bit too far. Up to you guys if that's acceptable or not, so. But yeah, good luck, guys. And then, yeah, the only board without the result on it is one that's still active. So you might see other people play, and that's fine if they decide to play more games. We have the other results in already. We're just waiting to see who's going to be playing the, the semifinal. We've got, uh, let's go look at that picture again while we, look at, while we wait for this game to finish. We've got DM no GM advancing against Yasin. Good job. Serenity now uh, also there in Olapels. So just waiting to see who, who they're going to be playing against. And back into the quarterfinals, this draw game that we need to get the result from, right? I like this one too. These these are the beats I really like. Maybe I should isolate these down. But it's probably good to get a mix too, I guess. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're not a girl? That's awkward. I don't think you're gonna like your emote then. <laughs> I gotta I was gonna get an emote for you, but I better I better change that thing up. So if you're if you're being truthful, I gotta fix that. I'm gonna contact my designer right now. Cause that would not be good, so. <laughs> what is going on? All right, let's see if I can get a hold of this guy. Shoot. I just put the order in recently though, so it should still be a change it, so. That, the gifter was uh, pretty sweet. It was actually um, Plays Chess at Work gifted 10 subs. Um, Yeah, cool. And he's reaching, he's talking to me already. So this is good. We got a conversation going. My designers, so I think I'll be fine. I'm so sorry about that story. I made an assumption, um, <laughs> but I've got it. I've got it getting fixed. So that'll be good. Um, so sorry about that. Uh, that I made. I mean, you can't really assume in this world, like with names and stuff. And that could just mean like the peace, the peace that Serenity gives you, like Serenity now. Like just give me peace. That's it's a nice name. I'm very sorry. So it's on me, not you. Okay. Good luck in this game, guys, and uh, good stuff. <laughs> now I'll give some myself someone in return. Random stranger, manifest yourself. <laughs> I like the manifest yourself. It's like that, uh, what is that, role-playing game reference or something? Like, uh, <laughs> it reminds me of like Final Fantasy or something. <laughs> nice. <laughs> very, uh, very good on like a, a, a streaming or gaming web, uh, not website, but yeah, I guess like Twitch or whatever is funny. Nice. Manifest yourself. I try to remember some of the more clever, fun things that get said on stream too. I'm like, I could use this on somebody else's stream. I'm not that clever. I wouldn't think of some of that stuff. I'm mostly like the pun guy, you know? A lot of silly puns in the past. Night school in the mor- or... Night school in the morning? New database column for preferred pronouns. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right? Thanks, World Zender. <laughs> uh, Wow. Yeah, I gotten so frustrated recently too on stream a few times. It's just nice to, uh, nice to know some of you guys are still enjoying the stream, so. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I like the way you're doing that. That's great. All right, well, anyway. 
I said I, yeah, anyway, whatever, just man, let's be quiet. Indoor cycling, that's fun. Yeah, that, I mean, indoor cycling will be kind of messy. It's probably not a bad idea to do that, so. Uh, all right. All right, yeah, see you later, Jack's wife. Get sleep, and that's fine. Night school in the morning is confusing to me, but all good. So see you guys later, and take care. So bye, Jack's wife. Till next time, right? Back to my dashboard. I like having the dashboard up while I'm streaming. Seems like a good idea, right? So all right. Almost spilled my pop. That'd been bad. <laughs> when your can tips this way, when your can tips that way, it's good because like it stays in. When it tips that way, it's bad, right? The, but yeah, that's good news. So, all right. Still trying to figure out the results of this draw. What will it be? Never gonna know, right? We've had so many pawn endings with kings and rooks tonight. So we, either everybody on this stream is becoming more grandmaster-like and we're getting like more of these like tough endings because of that. Um, Coach, I will learn two main openings, Sicilian Kings Indian Defense. Any books? P yes, yes I do. Thank you. Thank you so much for asking. Finally, <laughs> I'm so excited. For the first time on stream, this thing that I worked so hard on, entering one book at a time. Uh, so Kings Indian Defense. KID, oh, there we go. <laughs> Isn't it cool that I can do that? Um, so probably Secrets of the King's Indian between these two, but no, this is actually pretty good though. This is really inexpensive. Uh, uh, let's give you this link on Amazon. Oh, look, it's an Amazon link to the book. <gasps> it's $13. How reasonable is that? Come on, 13 bucks, that's great. All right, so let's give you that link if you wanna go get that one. It's $13, it's like, like dirt cheap, right? And then the other one, let's see, you mentioned the Sicilian. Well, we got lots of Sicilian books. All of these books, what's my favorite? And these are books that I own, so. Um, what happens if it's a draw again? Well, remember, it can't be a draw again. Black just won anyway, so we're fine. Uh, sorry, we'll go back. Black won that game. I know I kind of missed the end there. Um, we can talk more about Sicilian. I'm going to give you that Sicilian book, too. I'll give you uh, three of them, all by the same author, and I'll give you the links to those as well. So here's one. Actually, not, that's not the same author. That's a different one. That's a different one. That's one I wanted to give you. I don't know what variation you want to play, though. But the, anyway, if you check out, uh, I'll, give you the, I'll give you the author's name. Check out Bill Harvey. Really reasonable and probably a good way to get started just because they're less expensive. So you can like get into the opening, kind of see things about it. He shows both the white and the black side. Um, and then let's get these results. There. I'm sorry, guys. We'll go uh, record now that uh, 0 to 1, Johnny was black. Yep, so Johnny, that's what I thought. Okay, so let's get these ones off here so I don't leave them here for the next bracket. We can do another bracket after this. I've been really enjoying these things, man. I, um, Johnny goes through number three seed advancing, and then these are our semi-finalists. Let me get the semi-final boards ready, and we'll search for these players. It looks like DM no GM will have the white pieces against Serenity. Good luck. Uh, and then on the other side of that, we've got Ola Pals with the white pieces against Johnny D. So Ola Pals, good luck against Johnny D. Very, very tactical and strong player is Johnny. And uh, DM and Serenity, good luck there. So, awesome. Yeah, but I mean, if you study it more, hey, Premier Chess in the house. Shout out Premier Chess, dude. Good to see you again. Good to see Premier Chess. And guys, remember, this is one of the most classy uh, guys on all of Twitch. He's a very, he's got it all, all together, you know. I'm hoping to be on his podcast soon. I actually scheduled a one-hour session to be on Premier Chess's podcast. We'll see if he lets me maybe stream that or how we want to do that. If there's some way to. Uh, get you guys to be able to see that right away. But otherwise, I can definitely win. Oh, we're in the semifinal. Here we go. Semifinal games have been low. Oh, uh, still these things going. I'm sorry. Let me get rid of these alerts. A uh, little bit distracting where that's currently at. So we will just move that down here to this empty area. So, and thank you. Yeah, that's actually, a, I think I might have get to that. I probably shouldn't say anything about that. <laughs> it's so awkward. Anyway, um, yeah. No, that's okay. So I, I made a, I made a web, I made a website. It's being that website. I can show you again. So this is actually what this is actually a website. Uh, it's hosted locally. None of this data is on the web. It's not deployed anywhere. Um, and then this website that I have, it actually has different tabs, right? So I've got the coaches tab for navigating to Lee Chess to go play games, or this is actually something where it's my store. My store's on here. You guys should check out the store too. A lot of you guys have cups and stuff now. Uh, Aaron Gall and different people having cups. Um, we've got the followers where I can search them. My top 16 for the brackets are here. 
Um, we've got the ladder event, which I can explain how that goes another time. We got brackets, which we're currently doing brackets inside the website. Uh, the viewer bot, it's all automated through this thing. My arenas, I can click that, go into Lee Chess, create an arena. Uh, we've got the matches, that's for my buddy uh, FM Nichols, Simuls, Study, which has my studies on Lee Chess. The, the puzzle, it now goes to Puzzle Storm, a uh, brand new thing on Lee Chess. Books, and then these books, I hand entered my books. And I gave these links to Amazon, so I entered in the ISBN, so we navigate to Amazon as well, and I can search by author, title, type, or opening. So when people ask me for book references, I can give that to them so much faster. And then lastly, we always end with a raid. Okay, let's go back into our bracket event, though. Kind of telling you guys a little bit about how that works. And back into the quarter, uh, sorry, semifinal, semifinal, my bad, semifinal. So we'll be on your stream live. You can definitely stream it with, oh, that's awesome, Premier Chess. Yeah, I do have, um, I know one of the bigger things if I'm going to do that would be actually to have another, uh, Shoot, as I knock things over. I've got another camera here somewhere, but <laughs> knocking these stands over. I use these stands for my cameras usually. Um, but yeah, that'll be fantastic. I'm so excited to be on Premier Chess's podcast. Uh, like I said, he's the real deal, so it'd be really nice to be part of that. Um, yeah, Premier Chess, so my, my day job, I'm actually a web developer. So uh, on my day job, I make, I make websites, and then, um, yeah, thank you, man. That's, uh, <laughs> still got a feeling of who you are, but we don't know for sure. I'll find out tomorrow, hopefully. But yeah, um, I love, you know, I really enjoy programming a lot. And then the ability to take like my work life, bring it over here. Now, the reason it's not deployed anywhere is, um, although I'm not using any like code from work specifically, the pattern, the pattern I'm using for how I'm interacting with the data, the way I'm connecting to SQL Server, my backend, the way I'm writing queries, like all of that very much in the style of how I do things at work. And so the legal department at work would actually look at what I've done if I was to share it as being a reason to fire me. Like if I... If I gave that code away, they'd be like, you're giving our competitors the opportunity to have that code. Sounds silly because it's all chess based and it's got emotes and stuff. Um, but if there's anything in there that a competitor could learn from, that'd be the problem. So um, first corporate class for Google today. Nice, nice. Corporate class for Google. Oh, like for, what do you mean by that? Like for, um, try to figure out what you mean by that, I guess. Taught myself corporate class for Google today. I know what Google is, like a website and stuff. Are you are you thinking about working for Google? Or are you interacting with some Google APIs? Or what's the... I'm just trying to figure out what that, what that means, but... Oh, and then, oh, another thing. Who's new? Uh, let's see, real... I'm trying to think of anybody in the chat hasn't been added to my system. A really fun thing, when you when you give me your Lee Chess name uh, for the application, I can type in your name, and then my API calls will reach out to Lee Chess, pull back your rating information, and that's how, if we go back to the bracket one more time, guys, uh, see how the ratings are here? Like, I got 1,800. I use the ratings when I do the pairings, and those ratings are actually pulled from Lee Chess. They're not live ratings. This is from back on, like, January 1st, uh, when I pulled these in, unless people showed up, like, and are newer to the stream. Oops, sorry, semi-final. If they're newer to the stream, then they haven't had, um, then they would have it, like, you know, whenever they came in, right? But then next month in February, I'll be going through and um, actually recalculating those ratings. And then I'll show you guys your changes too. Not the negative changes. I don't want to uh, single anybody out for losing rating. But if you guys gained a lot, I'll definitely get you in there. So where is PSN? Well, I don't know if he actually plays. Uh, PSN, do you play on Lee Chess? Do you play chess online much? Or I think it's just a friend of mine, possibly from work that's visiting, is my guess on that guy, uh, based on some of the comments and stuff. So... <laughs> You get your theories sometimes. They're not positive, but considering that could be the case, so. He wasn't subbed. Oh, are you, are you saying, like, maybe give him one? Yeah, I could do that. That's, if that's what you're trying to say, not a bad idea. Is that what you're telling me? Or are you saying the other guy, um, he could have, like, reached out for it? I don't know. It depends on if he wants to be here a lot, too. I don't know. <laughs> he might be like, dude, I'm just checking out your stream one time. I got, I got work and other things to do, so. Oh, you need to read first. Oh, there you go. Well, I mean, up to you, I guess, who you choose, but... Isadora. Isadora. Isn't that a streamer? Seems like a streamer name. Okay, yeah, that's cool. No problem. Yeah, that's the hard part, too. Like, I've I've definitely chosen people for them before. It's really nice if you can choose people. And even, I think it was Chess Coach Net told me... Uh, Chess Coach Net, of course, a very uh, seasoned uh, streamer. He said, for Tuna, he's like, if you gift to the community at large, he's like, you're really kind of wasting those gifts. He's like, uh, most people in the community, if you just gift randomly, they're not really gonna be like part of your stream as much. It's better to like, he said, look for people that are in your chat or, you know, active uh, to, to gift to. But then as a lot of these guys have actually become subs themselves and stayed subs, um, those choices sometimes go down a little bit. A lot of, I mean, if you look at the, the people in the chat right now, many of them already have the uh, emote by their name. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of you guys are like long time 
you know, two months, six months, whatever. Uh, I've been around for a while. So thank you guys so much for those subs too. I do appreciate that. So, but, um, but as you guys see too, I really, um, I'm trying to go for more like the, uh, almost like a club, I guess, like a club feel. So you have like Fortuna Chess Club uh, players is what I say for the players I'm keeping track of. And then there's like no, there's no bars for like follow me or no bars for like sub goal or no days where I'm gonna like spend a whole stream talking about what well, we're trying to raise money for. I mean, I've been, I've been trying to be really good about that kind of stuff. I think I might've once mentioned I was getting a, a PC or something, but still even then didn't really put a bar on or anything. Um, my goal was to create really good content where people would want to sub and I wouldn't necessarily have to ever like be like, you know, please, you know, uh, don't donate gift or whatever. I didn't want to, um, I don't want to be that guy, I guess. And I've also got the day job. I mean, you guys know I'm a web developer, so it's like, you know, I will, I will have food for my family tomorrow. So, I mean, you know, makes, I think it makes sense that maybe I'm a little bit less, uh, you know, aggressive with that, but I'm definitely trying to build a, a fun thing here. So. Yeah, exactly. And that's what we have here. We have a lot of the same people that come back day after day. Um, that club right now, we have 127 people in my chess club. And uh, most of those people have actually played, um, you know, on stream because they would have maybe given it for the purpose of playing. And then a couple of my friends too that are like other streamers I, I added as well. So, but yeah, that's, uh, that's what I got going on there. So, all right, back in here. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have said, well, because they want to be part of the brackets and stuff, right? So you tell them, hey, you want to play a bracket? And then the way I pair the bracket is from the idea in my system. And I didn't show you guys part of what I have going on. Um, these games are still active. Right here, so another little trick that I do when I'm, when I'm talking, uh, there's all kinds of, if you do a join command to see about joining the arena, so like the join command, read that, right? Now that's a hard that's a hard thing to validate, but watch this. If I click on Sned Stag, I'm gonna click on his name. It's actually gonna open up his Lee Chess and validate him. It says, oh, he's got an account in good standing. He's got at least 200 rated games. Uh, his account's at least six months old. And that tells me he's actively able to play in my events. He's, uh, he's I don't want to say classy, but he's had an account for a while. So we're trying to avoid the idea of like people creating new accounts to cheat, right? That's the that's the big one. And then if I click on that, I can be navigated out to his uh, page. But also even from my table, I have this little thing over here. This is uh, gonna navigate to Lee Chess as well on that player. So kind of nice stuff we have going on there. Anyway, back in and let's keep watching the semifinal guys. Sorry to be a little distracting there, but the questions that were coming in, nice to be able to show you some stuff. So yeah, we try to, um, and some people will get upset, you know, and if it's a if it's a streamer or somebody can maybe like, they'll be like, I play on chess.com a lot. Well, playing on chess.com probably won't get them in, but if they have, um, if they can show me like uh, that they're a streamer and I can see their stream, then I might let them in for that reason, you know, so. Um, yeah, and it got really bad for a while. We had the uh, the arenas. Remember the arenas we were doing? And we had like two 1300s come in here and like just eat it up. Like I think we had, what was it? Twitch Fish Lost, myself, Bobby No 88. And I know a lot of you guys don't know these guys, but these guys are all like, you know, 20. I'm not up there. I'm like 2200. These guys are like 23, uh, 100, 100. They're really, really strong. They're good guys, you know. And um, it was just kind of, uh, um, you kind of like, I, I celebrated the people that day. I'm like, good job, guys. You know, you're doing great. And not, not in a rude way, but I actually said, good job. And then the next day, I had several people on stream reach out to me and say, Fortuna, those guys last night, they, their accounts got banned. And then, um, so when I created the bracket idea, I wanted also to have the Sweet 16, like a championship of the bracket. And because I wanted to have a championship and actually maybe celebrate the people that were winning and stuff, um, it really meant a lot to me if we could, we could somehow make it so that the people joining the brackets weren't gonna be cheaters. So that's what, that's kind of how it all went down, I guess. So, um, so overall, I'd say it's gone pretty well. I will say that, um, Hosting the brackets, I have a lot of respect now for anybody that has a chess website, like chess.com, Lee Chess. They deal with so much stuff. Like even, there's a little bit of drama here, not too bad, but anytime you have events and chess and stuff in general, a lot of things can come up, you know, like um, pairings or just lots of questions and stuff. So you gotta be ready. And having the data stored in Lee Chess has saved me, or sorry, the data from my events stored in SQL Server has saved me so many times. I used to use an app that Trevlar made uh, for doing the brackets. But then the problem there was I would ref if I refresh the browser, refresh the browser, I'd lose the pairings. But now because it's actually data that's being stored, I can like, like I just did, I can navigate around with you guys and then go back. And because it's stored data, I can go back and actually still see it. So much, much better situation now. All right, so that game ending up there, uh, looks like, oh, okay, that's not the other game, but I was like, that's crazy, but no. Yeah, so Johnny D pulls off that victory there. And that is the bottom board. So let's go ahead and award the bottom board Black one, right? Yep, black one in the bottom board, so shouldn't take me too long, but black one. 
there we go. So there we go, all right, so that's marked, and then back over here to have Johnny D advance in the, so that's bottom, so uh, that one. So Johnny D goes into the final, good job Johnny D. And back over now for the rest of the semifinal to find out who else will be joining Johnny D in the final. Let's give him a shout out as well. Johnny came in with a riot raid earlier, and that's another fun thing too. Uh, so many people in my chat are actually streamers. So I can, I can shout out to them, and then a lot of times they'll raid me as well, which is really nice. And of course I try to raid back. Um, I gotta get, maybe I'm on later than Johnny. I feel like Johnny comes in here a lot more than I go to him. And that's not meant to be rude, it's just that uh, the timing, I think, of when we stream. I'm usually a late night streamer. So, but I do appreciate the raids, uh, Johnny. Thank you so much. Oh, a draw. <laughs> we haven't seen any of those tonight. So when there's a draw, we use Armageddon rules. I'm, I'm pasting those right now. Uh, the same colors are kept. So DM will be white again, Serenity will be black again. Serenity will have five minutes, DM will get six. The pairing should be 5-0, so make a 5-0 game. And then gift, gift to the white player uh, an additional minute so that white has six. Then if black gets a draw, by getting a draw with less time as black, you advance on. So Serenity should now be gifting uh, DM uh, one extra minute. And then if Serenity can get a draw, she'll advance on. So um, there it is, perfect. So six for DM and five for her. Great job getting that done really quickly, guys. Might be the fastest Armageddon pairing ever, so. Um, yeah, so good stuff, and um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this, so... I always enjoy these events, so... <laughs> of course I enjoy them, that's why I do them, right? So... Alright. Yeah, and the, the layout, getting like the O-1, like the different results, I thought it was kind of a nice thing, nice little touch, too. Um, sometimes people like play extra games and stuff, and that board will get active, so it can get a little bit confusing, and then I was taking the board away and adding it back, but that's kind of costly as a streamer. I have to like, click and hide, hide and show elements, and then... It just looks kind of funny because we have like a small board. It's like, why is it small if somebody else comes in? But I feel like this way it really explains itself pretty well, uh, the things that are going on. So, and hopefully you guys are enjoying it too. Kind of like more like almost like a, a true event type feel, you know? And I, as I get these background colors a little bit better and some of the, the blending, it almost looks like it's one solid screen now. It's actually, you know, it's a board, a clock, a board, a clock, and then you got the background in there. So it's a lot of things, even though it hopefully now looks more seamless. So, um, yes. Yes, I started in 1996, and uh, that's when I started buying chess books. Um, I actually started playing when I was four years old, so that was 1982. I started playing chess, and my grandpa gave me some books when I was really young. But yeah, it's for me, it was extremely addictive, um, especially because I just enjoyed them so much. So like, I'd like I'd like read a book by an author, and then be like, I want more of that author's books, or I want the whole. Uh, I'm a set guy. I always want the whole set, you know. So it's like Gary Kasparov's greatest pre predecessors. I've got one through five, and. Uh, Gary Kasparov on Gary Kasparov. I got one through four of, no, one through three. That's a three book series. One through three of that series. Then he's got Gary Kasparov um, Revolution in the 70s. It's a four book series. I've got all four of those. Uh, they're really nice. Uh, most of them are hardcover. Uh, the Gary Kasparov on Gary Kasparov, one's hardcover, the other two are not. Long story on that it was really stupid. Um, <laughs> frustrating thing with, with those. Um, but yeah, in general, I definitely find books to be extremely extremely addictive to buy, um, especially when they start hitting well. Like, if you get a book and you feel like you're getting really good ideas from it, um, oh, Cyrus, Cyrus is really good. Let me make sure I spell his last name right. Uh, I'm gonna say Luke Dewalla. I think it's like that. And I'll double check it in my app, but um, Cyrus Luke Dewalla, that guy's books, he's so engaging. Um, especially his move by, he might have older ones too, but they'll say like move by move. It'll say like an opening name, move by move. Um, really, really good author, like he just, he makes you feel like he's right there in the room talking to you, um, which I really enjoy a lot. In fact, I've been buying lots of his books. Um, I can show that. Seems somewhat reasonable, this game's still going. Yeah, right here. So if I go back over here, these are all books by Cyrus Luca de Wallace. He's got this bird, and, and there's more that he has as well. I haven't gotten the other ones yet. He's got a Collie system book I don't have yet, but Birds Opening, Play the London System, The French Defense, The Modern Defense, The Nimso Larsen Attack, The Trompovsky. Uh, those are the ones I purchased kind of recently. But um, yeah, fantastic guys. So if you guys get a chance, um, the Cyrus, uh, Cyrus Luca de Wallace. And I can give you, if you're interested in one of these books, I can of course open up. This This uh, takes you to Amazon where you can actually see the books. So each book, is, uh, is mapped to Amazon so I can open it up and show you the book and how much it is and everything and give you that link as well. So really nice system I have here. I can not only show the books but also give you a way to go buy them or go get uh, access to them with the way that I've uh, linked to Amazon with those books. So hand entered the books, hand entered them in, put in their ISBNs. Uh, the ISBNs, I looked up most of them versus hand entering those. Um, 
So, and some of them are actually by book and author as well. And if those don't work, I'll change it to be ISBN. But anyway, yeah, it's kind of a neat thing because as a streamer, you're always being asked those questions, you know, hey, Jacob, uh, what books would you recommend? So that's my own personal collection that I have in there of my chess books. And then there's one additional book that isn't a book I own, and it's a book on getting sleep. Uh, people are teasing me about never sleeping, so I have the book that was recommended for getting sleep in there as well. But everything else, a chess book, and uh, definitely, it's definitely been nice to have those. So. Um, and there's lots of good authors, though. It's not just Cyrus. And there's there's good authors for different levels as well, like Mark Dvoretsky, um, which I believe he passed away last year or sometime kind of recently. That's really sad. Wonderful author. Wonderful endgame books. Wonderful, uh, you know, wonderful, like, high-rated player, really challenge you books. Like, uh, more, more time involved, you know. Um, some of the other books, maybe it's a little bit easier because they're almost like spoon-feeding it to you. You don't have to, like, work as hard. Like Cyrus. Cy Cyrus Luca Dewalla. That guy, he's going to put it right out there for you and make it easy. Um, whereas, uh, you know, Dvoretsky is going to make it more of like a problem book. You have to actually kind of work through those problems. And the more time you spend solving them yourself, the better uh, the book's going to be for you as a, as a learning tool. So um, anyway, yeah, it's just uh, it's kind of what we have going on here. So and this is kind of like a dream to me, man. I, I had a blog spot. I actually share my blog as well. I've been doing chess stuff for a very long time, long before I twitched. Um, so I'll give you guys this as well. And this is a fun thing to share because... Um, it lets you guys kind of know like how far back I go, like long before the Twitch days. Um, 21,862 page views on this thing. Um, and it also has my, uh, chess helps a little with sleep because motivation of think. Yeah, that's, I guess I usually get pretty tired too, right? After all thinking all night, yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, so this blog spot, if you guys wanna check that out. I've also got a blog on chess.com that I recommend. Like if people are, uh, people like they'll say, hey, I want coaching from you. And usually the first thing I do is I point them at one of my blogs. So I'll, I'll share that as well. I don't do a whole lot of the self-promotion of my coaching on stream usually. Um, not normally where I go. And even right now, I'm not saying, hey, reach out to me as a coach. I'm saying that I give this to my students like as a, you know, check this thing out and uh, you can learn from it kind of thing. Why is this? Oh, there they are. Okay. There's blogs. Why am I not seeing the... Oh, I didn't, I'm not logged in. It logged me out. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, why do I not see my blog? Because I'm not logged in. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, my blog. There we go. And then this one, there's one uh, blog post in particular. In this blog post, I basically walk you guys through uh, a path to getting better at chess, like something that I did with some of the games, like as I play through game, if it's a cl game collection book, kind of the way I approach that game collection book and how I feel like I really improved my chess with it. So um, yeah, feel free to check that blog out as well. And then um, I think I already gave you my website, the live, the live website as well. So, all right, so we got DM and Serenity battling it out here. Serenity a bit low on time and, uh, and DM has the white pieces and looks to have an extra rook there, right? So plus five with that rook. I try not, you guys might be like, Fortuna, why aren't you commentating on the games? Well, I was doing that a while back, but what happened was e even if they weren't listening to me, like even if they weren't cheating or anything like that, um, by not, let's just say cheating, but like getting help in the game, it's not cheating. I mean, if they have the stream on, they hear me, you know, whatever, right? Um, but the problem was even if they didn't hear me, they were making the same move potentially and then people could think that they heard me and I, did, I didn't want to influence play. So I moved away from that recently, so. Kind of enjoying this music. <laughs> oh, and this is Harris Heller, by the way. Harris Heller stream beats, and you guys can look and learn about how that's been working out for him. But it's good. It's a good thing for your stream, and it's a good thing for him. So playlist right there if you're interested in having that for your stream. <laughs> nice, Johnny. Yeah, Johnny, you played very well, and this is going to help you. I believe you won't be secured yet in terms of being in the sweet uh, sweet 16, but it's definitely going to put you, you know, closer towards that goal. So good job, man. Just just being in the final, those three points. Uh, the way the point system works, if you play in a bracket, you get one point for being in the bracket. You get one additional point for each win that you get. So if you get all three wins in the bracket, meaning you won, you'd have four points. So the winner gets four points, number two gets three points. Uh, there'll be a couple number threes, I believe, that'll have uh, two points. And then uh, you'll go back and the rest of us have their participation points. So, um, all right, and that game has ended. So yeah, queen to e4, checkmate. Nicely done, done GM, uh, DM no GM. I, okay, let's take this thing away. And uh, we should be able, be able to do another one of these events afterwards as well. So that'll be good. Um, where's this white one thing? There it is. 
Oh, it's not. Where'd it go? There, okay. That's not what I wanted. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm looking for the white one stuff that's on there. Black one. I don't know why Steam is only defined, but it, there it is. It's like it got mixed in with other things. That's what it is. I see what happened now. Okay, there we go. That'll make it easier next time. One of my layers just got moved, so I was making that hard. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, we'll go back in. We'll advance um, DM into the final. Good job, DM. Go to the final. So, DM and Johnny D in the final. And we'll go to our final screen next. We'll see how that goes. So, Johnny D. Good luck, man. And let's look at the colors. DM was white. DM was white. DM should probably be black. Johnny was black. Johnny was black. Yeah, so Johnny's got white. DM's got black. So, uh... Johnny's got white, so yeah, good luck, DM. Awesome that you're there, man. Um, and let's follow DM in this one. All right, so once that game is paired up, I'll take you guys in and we can be watching this final. Excellent job, DM. Now, DM's our tournament leader, and this is his first finals. That's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting to have our leader finally getting there. That's nice. Good job, man. Now, obviously, it's just going to help propel DM that much further along in terms of being safe in the Sweet 16. So, again, we got a 7 plus 2. Johnny's got white. And uh, white, <laughs> I think I just uh, misspelled white, which is kind of sad, but that's what I meant to say. And uh, <laughs> and then Johnny with the black pieces. So yeah, let's go indeed, Ola pals, indeed, right? Nice. And uh, did some math just now, and I think, um, I think I want to do something again, so. Oh, I did not want to do that. Whoa, 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 don't want to do that. <laughs> that <was> bad. <laughs> Misclick of the century if I had done that. Holy cow. Um, All right, so yeah, good job getting to the final, guys, and uh, you know maybe uh, celebrate DM a little bit here with this uh, good stuff, right? So go a little, little bit crazier tonight with DM getting to that final. That's pretty pretty big news. Pretty big news. Celebrate in a way that I can on the stream. Let's go in and watch the final now. Sorry, uh, game is active. I'm a little bit late getting there, but there we go. Doing something else. I got distracted. Sorry, guys. Now, let's get a prediction going too. It looks like I'm a little late for that as well, though. Wow. They're they're playing. What were they playing? Bullet chess here. The game will be over before I get the prediction out there. <laughs> <laughs> prediction could be well, I get the prediction in time. Um, Johnny, okay. Alright, there's that one, and then. Alright. Oh, shoot, I didn't click that either. They're, they're going so fast, too. I feel like I'm like way behind. Alright, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing really fast here. Just <laughs> There's your prediction if you guys want to do it. It's like, holy cow. Uh, and uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying the stream. And the game ends. <laughs> well, I guess you guys know which side to go on. <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> I couldn't even get the stupid thing in in time. That's ridiculous. All right. Well, it's not going to be... Um, that's crazy. It's not going to be DM's first win. So good job, Johnny, though. Let's go back and celebrate this. Uh, Johnny wins the event. So that's... Uh, at uh, the bottom there. Good job, Johnny. Let's get some confetti flying. And then we can actually, we've had two brackets now, so maybe we should get those points as well. Find out the new bracket picture, kind of get an idea of how that's looking. And, uh, well, I, I always, I mean, it's a chess term, right? So when a game ends, you often, I don't know, DM. Maybe out of all the games you've ever talked about, out of all the games you've ever complained about, maybe this is one of the games that I, I can agree, not the best, you know what I mean, for you? Like, I know, you do get frustrated, so. Um, but anyway, that uh, good job to Johnny. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, get all the points awarded, and then we can kind of look at the picture again and see where we are sitting, right? Because um, well, it's always fun to kind of see how things change after. This is two brackets now changing the results, so I'm gonna um, back this thing up so we have that. And uh, DM unfortunately did not come through there, so it's Johnny D with that win, and um, I'll put him in that. Uh, wow, so many brackets. So paste that, run. Make sure that I have the right result in there for the, the scoring system, and I do. Okay, cool. So we, today's winners, uh, we had Johnny D and also Aaron Gall. So Aaron Gall was that first winner of the first bracket today, then Johnny D just won. And uh, good stuff. So let's go get those points awarded and um, rescore it. But before I run the scoring stuff, let's see where everybody's at too. Um, kind of fun to kind of see that, right? So we'll go in here, we'll go to the viewers, or follower tab, go into this to see our current leaders. Now this is the current picture, guys, how it was. Um, uh, we just saw Johnny D won. So Johnny D was on the bubble. He was on the bubble, but with these four points, he's going to move well, well up. Uh, looks like he'd be in uh, number, 
He'll be the number 11. So after I score this, he should be number 11. DM no GM will gain three points and go three points past Goth Girl in the number one. So yeah, it's a three pointer. So, so DM should have 47 and we should see Johnny with 17. Let's go ahead and run this and then refresh and we will see that result. So that's built. Go back over here. And uh, in one moment, we'll be to see that, that movement there. So good job, guys. Really well played. Here, okay, so we're back. Go back here. And yeah, there's DM49. What happened there? Oh, because there were two events you played in DM. Two events. So 49, five, yeah, good job. I forgot, forgot about the other one. We didn't score the other one yet. So both those events being awarded points right now. And uh, Johnny D with the 17. Yeah, number 11, just like I said. Good job, guys. And thank you for reminding me, two brackets, yeah. And we can do another bracket if people are interested in playing. We can get more players in here. Um, if someone that maybe hasn't played before wants to play, you're welcome to play as well. Um, so let me know if you guys want to play. Otherwise, I could go back to chess.com and do some uh, rapid events as well. Mix it up between the two websites a little bit with the games getting played. And uh, I'm kind of enjoying being like a dual streamer, like the two for a while. It could be fun. So worked hard on my layouts for both now so I can actually play on chess.com and have it look a little bit nicer. So, but yeah. I guess while I wait for the next bracket, because it will take time to get people to play, I'm going to go over to this coach thing and uh, change the stream title, and I'll do a couple rapid games. We'll see how that goes, right? So chess.com, rapid. Update the title, and then I'll go to chess.com, and we'll get that game going. So let's see. Play. Play. Okay, cool. And you guys are ready to come over with me. We're on chess.com. Thanks a lot for being here, guys. So, And like I said, I could do another bracket after these some of these games, too, if people want to do one. So... DM wants to play. All right, cool, man. I'll keep that in mind, and uh, I'll add you guys in a minute uh, to that table I have or whatever. But I'm going to play this game, and I'll look, I'll look back at the chat in a moment. We can figure out who all wanted to play. So, of course, DM does. Cool. English opening. Okay. So, nice thing about playing a lot of these cramped positions. Uh, English, obviously, can lead to some of this stuff. So, here... comes out. Wow, that's really aggressive. That seems awfully aggressive. He wants to open up the H file and then play the bishop over and get that really nice interaction where the pieces come off. Hmm. All right. Might not even matter if I do that though. But I do want to get my queen out of this square. Yeah, so. All right. Yeah, we, um, brackets are still going on. We got DM no GM has said he wants to play. So um, if other people let me know, I'll go ahead and start adding you guys. Uh, I do have my my builder right here, so I can uh, start taking names down if people want to play. Um, I've got DM, like I said. And uh, if Polo wants to play as well, let me know. Okay, cool. So so maybe here with the idea of coming in here, now notice this pawn, this pawn blocked that bishop to be able to take me over here. So maybe, maybe this is an idea, right? So... It's kind of coming in here. And then I've got this bishop also keeping the rook off here. So knight in with a fork. And, and really, you know, in a position like this where white's attacking really hard, you kind of do consider uh, that trades could possibly be good for me. Um, so yeah. See how it goes, I guess. Okay, and Polo wants to play. Cool, I got you in there. So Polo's in as well. And if anybody else... Uh, you know, just keep keep letting me know in the chat. And if you're new to the stream as well, I can write your name. And then if you give me your Lee Chess name along with your name, we can get you in there. So here's some information about joining, if you're interested in uh, joining the event. All right. Consider this move at this moment, but I don't know. It doesn't look like it quite works. Defender summary. All right. <laughs> what does defender? Nice. Um, also considered that. Or the night move, and then I'll stick him up playing in the first place. Let me go here. All right. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Yeah, good stuff, goth girl. Thank you for that. Yeah, let's, um... Well, the knight wants to come in here, right? But yeah, I think I still want to close this thing down. I want to close the queen out at least for a moment. Obviously, this will be a break uh, that white will have later on. But I do want to close that side out for now. Shoot. I got two on this, so... Yeah, so I guess I got the knight and the, this arrow thing drives me crazy. I've got the knight attacking there, <laughs> the bishop attacking there. All right, drops back, there we go. Um, so my knight could actually come back in with the idea of still doing this eventually. So yeah, let's go back here, just uh, have that square touched. All right. Castle's king side? Why I never, right? I think it's just this hitting this pawn, but I do see that the knight can go here. So let's do this first, a little, keep the knight out of that square to attack d6 and then drop back and attack this pawn, which seems very weak, right? So I guess I can leave that on the board too. This is what I'm, that's what I'm thinking about right now. Uh, the board, usually one of the things you can look for in a game of chess when you're not really sure what to do is look for some piece that's not protected or looks weak, right? You don't have to attack it immediately, but just look at it and think about ways to make it so it can't advance if it's a backward pawn, like if your pawns are holding it back and it doesn't have any pawns supporting it, uh, maybe even before you bring the rooks over and stuff to attack it, you know, put that pawn in place to kind of hold it where it's at, along with maybe a piece that's helping out with that square. You know, knight and pawn work well against it, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, okay, so that does allow this kind of thing uh, to help keep the pawn. But then the queen's really passive, you know what I mean? Like the queen, everybody's kind of tied down. So I don't really see that as like perfect. Uh, and I could even consider, as crazy as it is, I could actually consider king walk to help out with winning this, or other ways as well. But I think I want to go for development rather than king walk right now. Um, I was just gonna walk this guy over. Get my, uh, maybe like this, 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 <laughs> something like that, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what this knight at, not really sure yet. So, cool. All right, so I can take here and then I can capture with the queen because when the knight takes, it's gonna block the queen's control of that pawn. Yeah, so so that was a pawn I just got there. Take there. I wanna keep my pawns healthy, right? So I guess I could've, yeah, if I would've had to capture that way, I'd have less healthy pawns. Yeah, the bracket is not full yet, that's correct. So I could play this rook up. Yeah, let's play the rook up, and then if the king steps up, I can pin the king to the queen, get a trade, and why do I want a trade? Because I just want a pawn, so. Um, yeah, it goes with that, I'll go over here then. And then this pawn, this pawn, most likely I thought that pawn would come forward, but I guess this way instead, still gets the queen trade, same goal that I had a minute ago. <clears throat> so, all right, so this is, a, this is a, uh, it's an outside pawn, it's passed. Only problem is my pieces aren't very well developed yet, so. Uh, maybe here first, and then the bishop needs to like get out of the knight's way and bring him back over or something. Not really clear what I want to do here. Rook, let's play rook over, try to get that pawn up, knight up. I guess I'll use the knight. Let's go <clears throat> head the knight to that square. Just going after a nice uh, outpost for the knight. And this this is that same situation I talked about the pawn. It's exactly the thing I just described. The pawn here makes this pawn a backward pawn. It's a target. And then the knight comes here, it's helping along with my pawn to keep that guy from going forward, right? So he's not, not able to move against those two pieces. And right now it'll just be a pure sacrifice. Take, take, and then push to protect the pawn, right? So, um, so yeah, this is what you call a pretty comfortable end game because, uh, and the knight is also gonna come over here and be a defender as well. We don't have, we don't have to move there right away. Let's see, the knight's counteracting me. If he went there, I would go here, you know, and, uh, and so now again, we look at what's going on. I have three pieces. This knight is so hard to show as a mover, but let's do this. Because otherwise it looks confusing. You don't see the right, you know. Those three, and then these are just two. So it's two on three, and the king can't walk there because of my knight. So two on three. All right. Um, I can actually do this if I want, but a bit risky because if captures and captures, say we do this stuff, then this pawn could become a past pawn in the future with like this and this uh, if, if it happened at the right time, so. All right, I'm gonna push. I'm not gonna push, I'm gonna move my king. So remember, I was thinking about pushing this pawn, but I moved my king first instead because of the rook coming over and not wanting to get pinned, even though even though I guess it's unnecessary. I do see that it's unnecessary, dude. I do have h6 and stuff. Yeah, all right, I'll just push now. And I can push h6 and be fine. If 
viewers have been watching for 4,200 minutes. 43, is that 43,200 you're saying there? All right. Capture this way. And I, can, I do see the rook can consider coming over. Remember though, this, this rook is still on this pawn for now though, so. Choice, but that was probably safer. Wow, 43,000 that's crazy. It's a lot. <laughs> wow, well, that's pretty nice. Nice to know. Thirty days as a follower. I guess if you can type the followage command. There's a followage like exclamation point, and I think it's followage, right? Or, or I think it's followage. If you do that command, I didn't actually execute the command, I just showed you how to do it. If you do that, I think you'll actually see that then. Well, this looks like a dream come true. I, I can actually play this move and then play my rook over here, second, because I'm hitting the bishop. So hit the bishop, it goes back to a square. And then after it retreats, I'm able to bring my rook over to the open file. So Olapals wants to play, cool. So that's our third player. Olapals is our third. We need, we need eight, so we're getting closer. Getting closer to eight players. Oh, and days you're saying, I see. Oh yeah, yeah, That's, uh, that is quite a while. I mean, I streamed, I've streamed for a lot of hours. I think I've streamed for like 1,500, like close to 1,600 hours I've streamed. Um, okay, now this is a situation where my knight should be to dominate that bishop. Um, and I can actually do this as well. So look at, I want you guys to keep, to look at what's happening here. So this knight is actually gonna take care of these two pieces at the same time in a way. And then this bishop now, I was gonna put it right here just to keep the bishop from getting active. So now the bishop is trapped on these two squares, which means the knight could potentially win it if I can get him over there. Oh, no, knight's helping out, Never mind. But but anyway, it does, it does kind of a situation where, um, well, white might be getting a helpmate. Step there, I step there, and then this is actually checkmate. Uh, the knight gets that square, so I'm letting him have what looks like a square, but he doesn't have that square. This is actually checkmate right now, so we'll see if he sees that. Oh, he's held in. It's even worse for him. He's held in. Oh, you know, he's got this. Sorry, it's not checkmate. It's not my bad. I'm, I'm seeing ghosts, guys. <laughs> I'm seeing ghosts. What am I seeing? I'm glad I looked at that again. I need to get this pawn forward. Here, here. That pawn controls the square. Then it would be mate. Oh, and this is even better. This is... That's just simple chess. There's no, no other word but simple on that, right? So, anyway. So we have, I think, three people. Three people for the bracket. Um... If you guys, you know, get more people that want to play, it'd be great. And uh, just keep these games coming. I guess we'll wait, right? So, and I do like these longer. This is like a rapid. It's not quite as long as the classical games on Lee Chess I like to play. But Elder El Rodito comes in. El Rodito, let's get you added. El Rodito. Okay, so that's four. We need just four more then. Johnny wants to play again. Cool, man. Johnny D. Then thank you so much for that raid again. Let's give that shout out again. When you guys raid me, it's fantastic, right? So. Uh, I should make a move here. Johnny D, there he is. And uh, so, yeah, Carl Kahn. This is an opening I like to play. And then Serenity wants to play. Serenity. So that's uh, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six. We need two more people. Two more, and we are good to go. Okay, so Carl Kahn. Advance this. Drunken will come in. Okay, so drunk, uh, drunken soul there coming in as well. And uh, I got caught here the other day. Let's do that right now. Let's do that right now. No waiting on taking is what I'm saying. Then up here, get this pawn protected by the bishop now. And uh, if this guy takes, we get nice healthy center pawns. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's add. Um. We'll add soul. Drunken soul. Drunken soul comes in. Good stuff. Okay. So I think we're almost there then. Beth Harmon wants to play as well. I'll get Harmon in. Cool, thank you for that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight, right? That looks like eight to me. One, two, three, four, five, six. So as soon as this game's over, we'll switch back to brackets, guys. Um, do I just wanna force that? I'm not really forcing it, but I'm gonna play this move because it's either gonna gain time or it's gonna strengthen my center. So gain of time, gain of time, gain of time, strengthen my center. So now you get two pushes now. You push once, take care, and then you can push this one again later on. and. Uh, what that's going to do is weaken this pawn, because this is, of course, the base of the pawn chain. You always want to attack the base, and by doing so, you weaken the, the head, right? So 
Let's go here. So I've got this and this. It's like, you know, bishop comes out, could take. <clears throat> so, all right. Good stuff, guys. Glad to have Harmon here. And this uh, chess.com layout's pretty simple compared to my other layouts. None of the, uh, not, I mean, I haven't put as much time, I guess, into it yet, but I think it looks fine. Hopefully you guys don't mind the new layout. It's uh, a bit lazy, you know, I didn't like redo the redo the stuff too much, so. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna go all the way. You guys might be like, wait, you just played your bishop all the way back? Yeah, I did. I wanna be able to play this knight out here is why. I wanna play the knight out first, and if the bishop was on that square, take away the knight square, so. All right, threatens the queen. All right, so she'll just attack a pawn. And on we go with the game, right? Cool, thank you guys for getting all uh, all entered in for the thing so fast too. And I guess, as I wait for this guy, I can enter in all your stuff so I get your, uh, well, DM's 31, I know that one. I can start entering the actual players into this as well, right? So, it's gonna be back here. There we go. There's the pairings, okay, cool. So DM's already in there, and then I'll add the rest of them as I play this game, so that. And then we've got um, Polo, Polo's entering. Polo 999, and near 1051, 1051. I should make this eventually where I get that stuff somehow sent to me or something, would be neat, but for now I guess this works. El Rodito is 1053. Ola Pals. Sure, this guy thinks I'm thinking. That's not good. He's gonna think I'm thinking, guys. It's bad. Um, queen goes there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna play this pawn forward. And uh, so Ola Pals comes in. And then the next one was Johnny D. Oh, it's Jahani. <laughs> I always forget that H. 36 comes in. Okay. Knight comes there. Okay this as well. Let's go there first. Um, D, Serenity, 1063. And Drunken, 6086 is yours because you came a little bit later. 6086. And then, uh, and we've got, um, the last one is Harmon. Oh man, Beth Harmon, good luck in this event. You've uh, really scored well in these things. It's done very well. 1065, okay. Okay, I've got all the players. And the I can essentially pair the bracket right now, so I guess I could even do that and then show the pairing to show how it all looks. But don't start playing yet, guys, because I'm still playing my game, so maybe I won't show the pairings, but it's all set now. I just gotta click that, we'll be good to go. This looks so weakening. Uh, not even sure if I wanna take there now. Oh, yeah, I do wanna take there. Do I wanna take there? I don't know. Probably. Such a bad bishop. I almost want the knight more than the bishop. Such a bad bishop. It's hard to take that bishop, guys. It also opens up the file to my stuff. I think I'm gonna go back this way and consider getting these squares again. Like, just go there. Take my bishop. I still like it. I like I like this knight trying to get on these squares, so I'm going back this way. Oh, okay, that's fine. Serenity isn't gonna play, that's okay. Uh, Eric, Eric, did you wanna play? I see Eric's in the chat, maybe Eric wants to play. We'll find out, right guys? We always do, so let me see that. Eric's team will go. There it is. Okay, so there's Eric. Got a nice big emote here for him. <laughs> Eric, do you want to play or not? <laughs> Call out to Eric. Are you gonna play in this thing or not? What are you? Where are you at on this? <laughs> All right. Um. Bishop down. Okay. The queen will be a bit passive. Like the uh, the bracket. Diddler. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. Cool. It's a bracket event if you want to play. Um, we need one more place person now that Trinity's not playing. So I'll show you. We, um, we do these brackets. Um, let me, 
It's gonna have Serenity right now. Just ignore that Serenity's there. Um, essentially, these are the players that are in Ser Serenity would go away. Our tops, uh, number five C would go away. We have the Beth Harmon, 2175, Black Knit, 1482, Johnny D, uh, DM, Roto, Diano, uh, 99, and Olapals, and there's their ratings. Up to if you want to join, but uh, that's who you'd be playing against. And we just need a replacement for Serenity, because Serenity doesn't want to play now, so. Um, anyway, I'm going back to chess.com and keep watching this, and then let me know if you're interested. If you are, we'll put you in. If not, then um, we'll find somebody else, so. Oh, no worries, that's fine. Hopefully you have a good night, man. Have a good night. All right, get this night active. So this is going all right now. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I get it, man. You need sleep, and that's totally reasonable. We all get tired, right? I mean, it does happen. Threatens queen, huh? How bold is that move? I'm gonna do it anyway. Pretty bold, pretty crazy. Queen takes. The knight wants to come in with check, huh? Okay. Just ready to capture there. I'll take my knight over this bishop right now, just because of the squares the pawns are on and stuff. Let's go, let's go here, attack this and this. And I want the knight to capture, because that way the knight and the rook will both be guarding this pawn. Right, a stupid knight move, like this, knight capture, <laughs> rook's still guarding the pawn. <laughs> knight also helping out. So I threatened to take there, and I got a scuppered check with this, right? So take there, rook takes, knight checks. Or it, well, because the rook will be checking the king, as I'm trying to say, knight, knight moves, I guess, gives a check, so. I just have to worry about this check on the back side, but my king goes up, should be fine, because this guy should be dead, so. Will work. That's bad, but I think it's still fine. So the discovery. And now the discovery picks up this rook. And if that rook moves, then we take the pawn and we we won't be able to get the check. But uh, oh, yeah, we take the pawn, threatening both rooks. That's crazy. That's pretty fun. <laughs> Knight takes. I threaten the check this way, and I also threaten the rook. So if he takes the pawn, we could just go there though. That'd probably be safer. Okay. 
king up. Yep, also probably a decent idea. Oh, this square because this rook coming will be bad, right? So do something there. Can take over here though. It's, it's some pawns, right? Are some pawns there? <laughs> Racket bugs. I think, it, yeah, I think this works out really well. So rook up, check, pawn, uh, king threatens rook, pawn up, rook over behind it, knight checks, uh, threatening the rook and still threatening the queen. And that should just be a win right there. So it's pawn up, threatens the queen, rook over, knight checks, picks up that rook, he takes mine and a queen. You guys see all that? Like this square, problem for that rook going over there. He can try going up here, I guess. But I feel like that's also gonna run into some, some speedy stuff. It's really fortunate this move is play, I believe, with the rook there. It takes my knight queen, you know, so. Um, but also, I guess with the knight not being threatened the way the position is, I could prob probably even play a little bit slower and be fine. I don't have to, don't have to go crazy, you know. Um, although these guys, you know, these guys, are, these guys do matter, so. All right. White considers what to do. Yeah, that's true too. Um, uh, you may want to get, you might want to be added, he's in the system, isn't he? I think he might already be in there, maybe, let's see, E, F, T. He's already in the system, I added him, I might have added him on my own a long time ago. You know what I mean? Like one of those things where I just like knew I wanted to have him there, so I added him. Maybe he missed rook to F1 as an idea. I mean, at least for a while it would have kept the queen off the board, so. But it, now these pawns, right? So there are these two pawns, and uh, there's this idea as well that's being played to uh, try to make stuff happen, right? So. Let's check and check. There's multiple ways to win this actually, but play the rook up and watch my pawn go. Be one way. You can play knight checks. That seems actually kind of tempting because of where the king is. Then this might actually threaten mate or threaten eight. You know, yeah, that would actually threaten mate. So or the loss of a rook. So I'll do that. Um, seems kind of kind of nice. The knight has these squares right, and uh, yeah, so that's just gonna lead to, um, well, the loss of some material, let's put it that way. Um, I can check, or I can just check and win the rook. Hmm. Queen checks. Should be lots of mates here. Knight. Let's just do this. I'm gonna hunt the king down with my knight and rook and queen, so. Yeah, this worked out really well. And then I can either play the knight or, or just play this mate with the queen, right? So, there we go. Cool, all right, nice. Good stuff, let's go do that bracket, guys. So the bracket's all, oh sorry, it's uh, leechess.com there, but um, let's go back over here and do this bracket event. So if I reset the bracket, we should have everybody, there they are, these are the players, let me get all those boards lined up, and uh, we'll put it back to bracket chess, leechess.org, brackets. We'll always do our brackets in leechess, um, at least for now. We could eventually do uh, chess.com ones as well, I imagine. Um, okay, cool, so put this over here. Just get my screens ready, guys, and then we'll get all four of these games going at the same time. So I've got Serenity with the white pieces. Serenity now. There she is. So Serenity now will be there with the white pieces. Uh, this uh, Black Nick, Black Knit uh, 3, good luck. 
And white pieces against Johnny D. Good luck in that game. And uh, then we've got DM no GM versus Roto SD. Not GM. Okay, so that one. Good luck in that game against Roto with the white pieces. Uh, DM gets the white. And then Diano with white against uh, Ola Pals. And as soon as you guys get paired up, of course, I'll be jumping into the action, showing all four games that are going on on the stream. Oh, let me give you guys the names. Oh, shoot, I, I got that query. Uh, uh, let's give you guys this. So much help, more helpful when I do it, right? So here it is. Uh, maybe I should do this thing commented for now. Run that. There we go. So these are all the players. If you're looking for your the person that you're playing, there you go. That's that's who you guys are playing against. You guys can click those links to get your challenges out there. Uh, providing the links to you guys make it a little bit easier now. So grab the link to your opponent, and that should help you get you into the game. Um, and it says Serenity's playing a game. I've only got one active game, Roto. I like to at least have two in the quarterfinals with four games going. But I nice to have two of you guys at least playing. Um, so if uh, let's see, Serenity is not active, so Serenity and Beth could get active once she's top's playing. Uh, Black Nick and uh, Johnny D getting active would be nice, and then also Diano. So yeah, it's it's right there. I, I just posted the chat, Johnny. It's right here. I gave you I gave you a list of names. Like uh, you can't see it to match it up. You're saying? Um, I'll get I'll give it to you again. I'll give you just the one that you need. So Johnny's against Black. Okay, so right, you need this one. Here you go. I'll give it to you, Johnny, right here. This is your link right here. So that's your link. Click click on that, Johnny. You've got the Johnny has the black pieces, so give a challenge with the black pieces and you're all set, man. Alright, and we have two games going, so I'm gonna go ahead and head in and hopefully we'll have the other two games pair up soon. We're into the bracket. This is the quarterfinals. You can see one of these games has a lot more moves because, well, they started playing a little bit sooner. So good job guys for getting that pairing in quickly. And there's another one. Okay, so Johnny found his partner, leaving Beth and uh, Serenity. So Beth and Serenity a little behind, but should be going soon. And Beth and Serenity will be in the top right of your screen. All right, as this thing gets started, I'm gonna take a brief break. I'm gonna take this can and uh, recycle it. Be right back, guys. One moment. Grabbing a snack too. So some energy can be good, right? So, all right, we're all paired up good. All playing, love it. Good job, everybody. Nicely done. It's our third bracket tonight, so bracket number three getting played right now. And uh, nice, nice to see everybody playing. This is good. 
That's how these games are going. We got a couple pawns off the board, looks like. A knight off the board and a bishop. Knight and a bishop on that board as well, so similar. boards look really similar. If you look at the, um, what was it for you guys? Right there. Yeah, I guess it'd be the top, the other one. I guess this is the top left and the bottom left look a little bit similar to me, but the bishops, the bishops on g6 and g7 kind of like mess with your mind or eyes for a minute. It's kind of fun. Over so close to me. Got a little uh, cat bed. <laughs> cat bed next to me for her to lay in. If she comes over, they, they come by at night sometimes. A lot of bishops in this position. Every board has. <laughs> People are definitely like watching after bishops today, huh? Look at that. You got three bishops and. Uh, yeah, three bishops in the top right. Three bishops in the top left, <laughs> four bishops in the bottom left. <laughs> oh no, there's four bishops in that one too. Oh, yeah, bishops, bishops abound. People are looking after their bishops today. Lots of bishops, but lots of, lots of closed positions too, so the bishops are a little bit less effective in a lot of these games uh, until those pawns get moved in the center a little bit, you know? Well, there we go. I got some pawns getting exchanged there and help bring those bishops to life. There you go, a little energy inside me, that's always good. But yeah, um, these games are always so exciting. And I've, I've, like I said, I'm trying to still like watch the games and observe things, but I don't wanna give anything away that would uh, Im impact play, like I've been saying, you know, if you say the wrong thing in the middle of the game at chess, people can think you inf influence the outcome, which would be bad, but um, really fun games to watch here. Looks like Beth Harmon. Harmon's attacking uh, Serenity over there. The check. Hunting that king down. And yeah, over there. Like Black in the, uh, the DM no GM Roto game, Black was trying to figure out if somehow F2 could be harassed first, but decided to play Rook to B2 after giving it some thought, so. Probably a good idea. Probably good. All right. Meanwhile, <laughs> that's a tough game. If you guys watching the? Uh, looks like it's uh, Johnny D versus uh, Black Knit. It's the bottom left of your screen, bottom left board. You got Queen and two bishops, and you have Queen and Bishop and Knight. Now. The queen and the two bishops, while they're all on the board, those those attack very well together. But look at the center, a little bit locked up still, uh, making those bishops for black slightly less effective. But as the position opens up, those bishops can become real monsters. So, uh, so that's one to watch right there. 
And uh, <laughs> I guess they're all one to watch right now. So many interesting positions. No, no game with a decision on it yet. Uh, no, no one's lost or won. So. Well, there goes one as I say that, right? So, if I didn't jinx anybody with that. Um, Diano beating Ola Palace. Well, good job. Let's make sure we keep track of that board. First one there. So, that is a white win. So, Diano goes on. And then we've also got with the Roto and um, DM no GM, Roto appears to have won. So, that's uh, which board is that one? That's the bottom right. So, that's the last one. That's a black one as well. Yep. Okay. So, there we go. Cool. All right. And let's go uh, get Roto and. Um, Say I'm gonna go. Pretty bad of me to forget this stuff. Roto and Diano moving on. So there we go. Back in here. So we got Roto and Diano. Roto's number two. Diano is number seven. So cool. Hey, and Diano was the upset win. So uh, the lower rated opponent uh, winning that one. Back to the quarterfinals. And we'll keep watching now to find out who will be joining these two in the semifinals. So we're gonna have Roto versus Diano, and both of them with pretty fast wins. You know, neither one getting low on time in their games. And, uh, like I said, we'll see if we'll join them in the semi-final with a chance to go to the finals. So. Nice, nice, nice. And I'm going to give you guys this link too. Make sure you guys check out, um, not for even like buying stuff, but just for the sake of seeing what's in the store. Um, a lot of stuff based on you guys. And I can, I guess I can show that over here too. Let's, uh, let's go look at that store real quick. Why not? Got it. <laughs> little plug for chess coach right here we go so this is my uh my main page i gave you guys that link a minute ago this is a way to contact me for coaching also the discord is extremely good you can see you find the discord here see when i go live see live uh interviews i've done on youtube with different streamers some stats that for my streamer hosted here my blog spot etc and then at the bottom you finally get down to this where you guys can go in and, uh, and see that uh where's this thing at can i get to the merch i guess there we go i think it's this link should take us in, right? I not go to my own store. I should be able to do this, all right, all right. <laughs> here we go, so this is the store here. But you can see it's almost all based on you guys, all these emotes and stuff based on people here. Harmon, she's playing right now, there's a Harmon bag out there. Uh, I've also got cups and such as well, um, all based on my you know, my stream or um, Squirrely there, Vega, some other people as well where I've had emotes created for them. So anyway, all right, let's go back in and uh, continue on with this bracket. Just thought I'd, quick little plug in for myself there. Don't do much uh, of that in general, so. Except those cookies. <laughs> cookies were good, that's true, I didn't enjoy my cookies. Oh, there's no game, uh, no, not yet, not yet. No game yet, good, good, games are still active. I would reduce a game to a number, and my pots are pain. Oh, you mean like drop uh, drop the board and stuff? Yeah, you could, but, um, and I kinda like the active, I like the screen, I don't know. It's sometimes fun too if you show like the mate or something or show the final position, I don't know, but. Yo, though my, though friend, my, played a nine. Did I say nine cent upon loss again? <laughs> That's awfully freaking low, isn't it, DM? Did I say nine? <laughs> yeah, that is really, really good. I agree. That's awfully accurate, man. It's pretty good chess right there. I have to go back and look at the opening, I guess, so. Might need our Vega mug. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Vega. Get that kind of stuff, and I can see myself, even though it's my own gear and stuff, uh, or the emotes and stuff I bought, I can see myself getting some of those as well, yeah. I sure like Vega. Let's get some shout outs to these guys as well. Let's get a Vega shout out again. Let's get a Squirrely shout out. And uh, I could show those emotes on stream as well, but try to keep it just focused on these games right now. And if you're just joining us, welcome to this bracket event. Yeah, DM played closely. I mean, that Rook B1 move, DM's Rook B1 move was pretty good. Or sorry, uh, not Rook B, he played the Bishop, Bishop B3. Bishop B3 by DM was pretty cool. You know, trying to catch if you go, Bishop takes F2, Rook takes F2, Rook takes, and then he's got that, um, you know, the Rook over there. So I mean, it was kind of a neat, nice find there. He's trying to do something. Yeah, I mean, with nine cent upon loss, that's definitely speaks to the possibility and maybe even probability of winning the event if you're able to play how many of you play nine cent upon loss?
So Beth Harmon. Interesting play there by, by Black. Maybe even tempting that E3 move on the night. <clears throat> yeah. Classical fun. Yeah. Classical games are fun. Oh, and there's a there's a game ending. Draw. Ending <laughs> in a draw perpetual. So those two need to do our Armageddon rules, so we'll give them the Armageddon draw rules. Alright. Oops, not that way. This way. There we go. So Armageddon rules are the same colors are kept for these guys, the way I do anyway, so they keep the same colors. Uh, so Johnny will remain black and Black Knit 3 will remain white. Black Knit 3 will get an additional minute, so Black Knit 3 will have 6 minutes and uh, Johnny will have 5. And then what will happen is uh, Johnny will, when they get into the game, Johnny will both have 5 minutes, so 5-0-5-0. Five, five, oh, five, oh. Then Johnny will gift uh, time to his opponent until his opponent gets to 6 minutes. Usually click the button 4 times, 15 seconds each time. And uh, then they'll be able to start that game over again to get that decisive result. So, And then Black would uh, move on on a draw. So, Alright, there they go. <clears throat> they just got their game going again. Fantastic. And the time goes up. Beautiful, guys. Nicely done. Really good to see that. That's what we're looking for. Fast pairings, get it going. Very, very nice. And uh, meanwhile, the other game should finish shortly, so we're gonna have that one extra game to get through again. Uh, a few times this has happened. We had lots of draws today. Three bracket events and lots of draws. Well, that just means beyond kind of late, right? Yeah, this would be nice to put on YouTube too. I've been trying to make my events like run better and better and better and then I'll be happy to have this one backed up on YouTube as well. So maybe before I go to bed, I'll switch it over there as well. Just uh, shoot the stream straight over. Got a fun song here. Thanks a lot for being here, guys. I hope you guys enjoy these events, you know, I realize I'm not playing during the event, but I mean, I think it's kind of a nice thing for a streamer after you guys have watched me play, you know, 1500 hours of chess, whatever it is, you know, letting you guys get in and get some games at, you know, towards like the 1590, where the heck I'm at right now, uh, <laughs> a lot of time with you guys, so it'd be nice to see the, you know, I, I enjoy seeing the different games, you know, always talk about that, how I play one way, and uh, some of our games go the other way, so we got a couple, one more result there, look at that, so is that the... That's Serenity and Beth. Okay, Serenity and Beth, and we've got Beth Harmon winning that one. So, all right, well, let's go ahead and get that into board number two with Black winning. There we go. And we'll go mark that as well. So, good job. Serenity, uh, unfortunately, it looks like might have lost that one, but Beth Harmon able to come through. Nice job, Beth. So, number one seed advancing on. And then we just have that one last game going on, the Black Knight and Johnny. Let's go back and see how that finishes up. So, um, And of course, this is because they drew, so we've got more time on this one. Very, very nice. Grab some cheese real quick and... Uh... Grabbing some spicy V8 as well. Love my spicy V8. Uh, I drink this on stream quite a bit. Spicy hot V8, so good. And then also a little bit of cheese again. And I usually like this, uh, this aged cheese, 14 month aged cheese, so pretty good stuff. <laughs> of course, it's also good like on pasta or other things, but I find I enjoy it at the end of the night. Black Knight. Probably Black Knight with three. I didn't think about it that way. Like the whole uh, Gotham City thing. So Black Knight is probably what I should be saying. It's like Batman. Good stuff. So where does double pawns, but both bishops. Not so bad. 
Double pawns and you got the bishops isn't really that bad. Long, hard think about this move. What to do, right? And Black Knight had some good moves there, um, available earlier, but missed, missed a crucial move. That's a lot of games. I just remember the first time we got this to happen. Oh, look at that. So maybe Black Knight thought there was a chance to, uh, to mate there, but then Bishop was able to get away, but. a square for the king. Probably not a bad idea. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys enjoy this too. I'm definitely trying some different content. You know, a lot of people like to watch the stream or play chess and uh, uh, maybe a bit risky to switch things up like this, but it has been fun. Chairs clean too. Get the, get the cheese off it. Figured there'd be a chance. Mm. So it's not a whole one tonight. Just leftovers of yeah, that spicy hot V8. If you guys haven't had a chance to try this, awfully good. Always recommend that.
All right, so now finally concedes. And uh, good job, Johnny. Let's get these other things out of the way. I just, we are gonna do another one tonight, but it's just nice to have it all cleaned up for next time. There we go. And good job, Johnny. So Johnny moving along. Number four, heading up in there, but great game. And as I mentioned, there was a pretty good move along the way that uh, his Giantese opponent had. So excellent game, man. Not bad at all. Wonderful to have you on the stream, and thanks for checking us out, you know? Nice to have you here playing. All right, so next game of Beth Harmon uh, with the white pieces against Johnny D. So, oops, the Beth Harmon. There she is, white pieces against Johnny D. And we've also got Roto SD with the white pieces against Diano, and that should be a great game. Both these guys have been playing really strong on stream, so I'm not even sure which way this will go. Yeah, good to see you, Drunken Soul. Well, great to have you back, man. All right, here we go. Let's get uh, the semifinals going. One game hasn't paired. Hopefully you guys are able to get that fired up fairly soon. Uh, Beth and Harmon. Or sorry, Beth and uh, <laughs> Beth Harmon. Combine her name together. Johnny D and Beth. Let's, uh, let's see that game, hopefully. Beth with the white pieces, if there's any, any concern there. Uh, can you take you guys into the semifinal a bit earlier? They're, uh, they're not paired up yet, but hopefully soon, so. Uh, maybe they need some links as well. There they go. Yes, that's what I like to see. That was pretty close. Pretty close on that one, guys. <laughs> Not bad at all. Good job. Okay, so both games are active. And remember, the winners of this will go on to the finals. So, And that'll probably be the last bracket tonight, guys. It's 1242. I work at 7 in the morning. So I think after this, probably call out good and get some rest, you know. And I, I did play some games. I played some rapid games on chess.com. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed those. You guys go back and watch them later on. Okay, yeah, you guys can restart the game if you guys got the wrong colors. No, Beth, Beth is white. Beth's white. Beth, she's got it right. Beth is white. Oops, I keep writing that wrong. <laughs> there it is. So, yeah, so go back here. Uh, Harmon's on top. She's got the white pieces, so good luck, guys. Oh, sorry, semi-final. There we go. Right, but, okay, so in the first round, in the first round, the, the lower player gets the white pieces. In the second round, um, the higher rated usually gets the white pieces. And then in the third round, it goes back again. You can't, you can't possibly have the highest player always play black. That'd be like a bad tournament. You can't have them go black, black, black. I get what you're saying, Johnny, but that's just not the way it works. So I'm sorry, man. So, all right, so whenever you guys are ready, you guys can play that game. Oh yeah, no, no worries, no worries, man, it's fine. I could see there'd be confusion there, and that does make sense. I did say that before that I try, the word I use is try. I try to make it so the lower player always gets white, but in a tournament, it's, you know, unless you're doing shady things like making somebody play that same color three times, you can't really do that. <laughs> That's my response to that ridiculousness. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Yeah, I got that long, uh, <laughs> I wrote him a long message, but I figured rather than giving all that on stream. Plus on, on YouTube, they're just gonna see me talking to myself. They don't actually see the chat on YouTube. So it literally looks like the streamer has been talking to himself the whole time, <laughs> which is which is kind of funny. <laughs> I'll go back and watch it and be like, that didn't make any sense. So 
there are ways I could try to improve that, I guess. Um, but for now, I think it's fine. Go back and see the games and <laughs> try to remember who was saying what, I guess. I don't know how that works exactly. But. So these are semi semifinal games. No material advantage for either side here. Either game. You know, you look at that game with uh, Diano and Roto. So for you guys, that's the top game. Diano and Roto game. Top game what you guys are looking at. Look at that center for white. Pretty healthy pawn center, you know? Lots of uh, lots of pieces controlling center squ central squares. So it's almost this is almost like a dream scenario, except, you know, the other side's probably playing a hyper-modern opening, and that always has the ability to somehow like make those pawns weaker and change things, right? But it does feel good as the white player to have this stuff going on for now. It's got to feel nice. Meanwhile, on the other board, you can see that white enjoys a very slight space advantage in a, what appears to be a king's uh, Indian defense, right? So knight's achieved a great square. It's uh, a bit protected because of this pawn from uh, what would normally be like a bishop coming to e3, but that bishop isn't even there anymore. So um, the knight's just got a nice outpost, and that outpost is kind of close uh, to where the king is at. So obviously having your knight close to the king can be kind of nice and well posted. Uh, on the king side, you oftentimes see like a knight on f4, uh, using like this f4 square to help attack around the king. Um, but on the queen side, you know, either c5, b4, c4. In the Banco Gambit, you oftentimes see black playing c5 to c4, getting a square for the knight. Um, looks somewhat like that here, only there's no pawn to help out, right? So, but that knight is a, a real nice uh, piece to have there. And it's always somehow looking at this pawn of whites on e4, so. Anyway, some fun facts, I guess. And uh, there we go, right? I tried Puzzle Storm for the first time tonight. I definitely enjoyed it. Good time. I figured I'd like it, but. Uh, it was a little more fun than I thought it might be. And you guys can check that out too. It's right there if you guys want to try it out on Lee Chess. Uh, Puzzle Storm. Much like what Chess uh, Chess Space. Much like what Chess.com has, where you like race, go through the puzzles, and try to get as many dungeons as you can in the time. Um, it'll keep track of your best, obviously. And I was kind of hopeful that when they made that um, announcement of this uh, pawn, uh, sorry, Puzzle Storm coming out, I was supposed to say Pawn Storm. <laughs> when they created pu Puzzle Storm, I hope that they make it so you could actually watch. Um, yeah, exactly, Vinny. I did it for the first time, didn't, didn't enjoy it. I wanted to see if you were able to watch like other people do it, because that would also be a fun event on stream. Um, but I'd want to do it a little bit differently. Like, uh, somehow I think it'd be fun to like, ha have you guys like actually like the boards shown together. So I put, if I, could, if I could see you guys playing, I put like four boards together, have all of you guys solving puzzles at the same time, and then like we could like have like a clock, or you know, they have the clock in the game, I guess, too. But it'd be fun just to watch that, just watch Everybody kind of at the same time trying to, you know, we'd be like, three, two, one, you know, obviously I'm on a delay, but you know, we'd, uh, you guys would hear me count down and then boom, everybody just goes, you know, it's like, all right, good luck guys. And you know, we keep, we keep track of your, uh, you keep track of that stuff anyway, but it'd be fun to keep track of some of that stuff too. So I don't know. Definitely want to create more games and stuff for you guys, more, uh, more events. Yeah, that kind of thing. I mean, it's kind of like that anyway, but it'd be like, uh, I don't know. You don't want people to like miss them though. So you can have like a, it's gotta be a mixture. mixture. It can't just be like a, a race. That's gotta be like accuracy, right? So. It's like two different pawn structures. One E5, E5 you got played, the other one D5, so you got two different pawn breaks. You got the E5, uh, not pawn break, I guess, but pawn pushes here by white. In both games, uh, somehow you're conceding some squares and gaining others, so access to dark squares, access to light squares, you know, uh, interesting stuff. But something like that would be fun, I think. Oh, man. Okay, so Johnny D, there's two outside pass pawns for Johnny D. 
but then White enjoys an extra night. So, oh, a game just ended there. So it looks like Roto, Roto coming through with the win against Diano, or Dino, Diano. Hey, it is Diano, never mind, I got it right the first time. So Roto, that's the top board with White winning. Um, good job, and uh, we'll go score that. So good job, uh, Roto, right? So, man, nicely played. So Roto goes on to the final, and uh, get that over there. So Roto SD in the final, and back to the semifinals. Yeah, well played indeed. Good job. Good game. Oh no, mouse left your queen. No. <laughs> That's rough. And of course, you have that well played emo, but it's not in the most accessible position right now, so. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Take backs. Alright, so Johnny. Trying to look this thing in. Anyway, cool. All right, thanks for reaching out. You guys are always welcome to message me or whisper me if you guys have questions, so. I miss sec that. I missed that. <laughs> I was like, miss sec that? I'm like, oh. Miss sec, a chess term meaning. <laughs> what does miss sec mean? Johanny D. Considering what to do, plays this chick. King gets pushed back with that move. So Harmon ejects the king back to the other side of the board with those knights. <laughs> kind of interesting seeing this, right? The knight somehow controlling a lot of squares around the king, right? So <laughs> it's like <laughs> closest thing to knights doing crazy stuff, right? So. <laughs> doing good. Nice to see a chess lover. Um, if you gain points, uh, I mean, you mean in the event or, yeah, oh, I see what you're saying, like how many you gain, we can look, yeah, you can, your points are actually visible here, I don't know if you noticed that before, but uh, these are the points you guys have, so one point for Serenity, two points for Beth Harmon, one point for uh, Black Knight, two points for Johnny D, one for DM No GM, three for Roto, two for Diano, and one for Ola Pals, and then back over here, we can show where people currently sit as well. So maybe with those two together, you're kind of close to that. But I'd really like to watch, keep watching this uh, semifinal. So I'm gonna take us back over into that. But but yeah, that's uh, that's kind of some of the information there, I guess, based on what you're asking. I do I do keep the scores right inside the event itself. And if I ever back it out, um, uh, no, I'm not in this one. I'm not in this one. I um, have been doing this as like a viewer event. I did play a lot earlier though. Watch the VOD uh, tomorrow if you wanna watch the VOD. I played several rapid games on chess.com. So those are available for you as well, if you have questions about that. Yeah. 
And see you later. Alright. Had a lot of trolling recently, so I just... Somebody seems like they're asking a lot of questions or... I mean, trying to watch an event. Uh, I don't know if they're being critical or not, if they're just giving me a hard time, but I'm not gonna, gonna waste the time on the stream. Alright. So, it's kind of what I expected too. And I'll definitely, tomorrow, for the sake of like uh, YouTube as well, and to not see me talking about that kind of stuff, I'm just gonna start, if anybody new following me begins asking me questions, I'm, I'm not gonna answer like, I'm, you know, just very very low interaction with new people on the stream. Um, definitely a lot of tr trolling and different things like that recently, so. <laughs> Del plato a la boca, se cae la sopa, we say in Mexico. From the plate to the mouth, the food drops. I see. That's fun, El Rodito. I hope I didn't, didn't bash that too bad. Oh, it's Del, or, or Dia. Wait a minute, is that, is that D-E-L or? I think it'd be Del, right? So, Del Plato, a la boca. And the boca's mouth, I know that one. So, sopa. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Food drops. That was a very interesting position here. Yeah, thank you. I tried. I, I had. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing to admit this because I'm not very good at it. But I had I had four years of Spanish in high school. High school for me was in '96, though. So like I graduated '96. So high school was quite a while ago. And we didn't speak Spanish in Spanish class very much. We mostly wrote Spanish. You know, every almost everything was like a written exam. Uh, 26 students. You know, a little bit of talking to each other, but mostly. Uh, I don't know, because Beth does have the, I mean, she, if Beth creates a pass pawn at the right time, and the knight could also sack, I mean, it's not quite clear yet, that's what I would say. There's still, there's still some opportunity. I mean, Harmon has done a good job so far, I'd say. Um, yeah, and I think, I think Harmon has some opportunities here. Notice, she does have a, a majority on the queen side, and it looks like, um, might be getting pieces to really good squares for like holding the black pawns. And uh, the knight actually um, can't hold them perfectly by itself, but he can help, right? And if uh, if either of those pawns, like if the knight, if the knight can take that h pawn, that'd be pretty good. So we'll see what happens there. Yeah, and actually, we're at a point now where I think most of you guys are all over a month anyway, right? For subbing and stuff, or not subbing, but uh, over a month for following. So. Probably turn things back on again. Protect this stream, right? Protect our house. Um, so that's just an unfortunate thing I've had to do recently is to kind of move things around a little bit uh, for the sake of... Okay, wow, that's nice. So she's figured out that that king is gonna be to stop those pawns unless the other king is actively helping. And yeah, this gives her that chance to create some pass pawn or pawns. Um, Pushes the king back away. This is this is pretty nice technique by Herman so far. Nicely done. Um, she's pretty. So I had a prediction still out there from a while ago. Give, give you guys your points. Not sure. And then um. <clears throat> yeah, I think. Okay, this actually could end up being a draw this time, depending on how they decide to play this, because it's difficult for, I feel like, either side to make progress. But she's gonna try with this, huh? Oh, look at that, guards the pawn. And now the now white is winning, now white is winning. I didn't play it that way, but I guess that works. I saw a different move I thought was also good there, but um, yeah. Yeah, she should be, should be fine. But I just thought when the knight came back, I really thought it was going to go here. I guess she just sacks and wins that way. But she could have easily taken this pawn with the knight if she'd gone to f5. I mean, I thought knight to f5 was a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier way to win that. But nice job. So Harmon, Harmon uh, goes on to the final. Then let's go back in and uh, nice job, Beth Harmon. Wow, Harmon winning that thing. Okay, let's turn the other result off as well. Where'd that go? Um, that one. Boom. Okay, Harmon, and she is the number one seed, and she's over here, the top. Okay. 
Final, here we come. So we've got Beth Harmon with the white, oh no, sorry. Harmon had black and then she had, or sorry, yeah, black then white. Roto had black and then white. So Roto, Roto gets the white pieces. That And remember, it's mostly the final where we have this thing to figure out, Johnny. Not the second round, but the final. It says colors in final by director. The rest of the way, it's top player gets white. So nice and simple. All right, so um, I'll type in her name and we'll, I guess Roto will go watch this thing. So yeah, um, soon as soon as they're paired up in this final, we'll watch the game. Hey, hey, American chess noob. Dude, uh, you got to come back soon. Um, I uh, was going to tell you. Yeah, I, I, got, I got some emotes for people recently. Uh, some emotes coming in. And you, you're going to have an emote soon, so that would be pretty fun, man. Uh, you know, I have like I have like the viewer emotes. Have you seen the viewer emotes before? I can show them to you right here on the screen. Uh, when you first come in, there's all these viewer emotes. I'm going to have an emote just for you. So you're going to have an emote, man. You're amazing. Thank you so much for that raid the other day. I uh, kind of wanted to celebrate that, and you also being a uh, supporter of the channel. So, all right, let's get back in and watch this bracket, guys. Um, we're into the final now, and good luck to both of you in the final. You both have played very well to get to this point in this event, and uh, wonderful to see Korean American Chess Noob, a fantastic streamer, and like I said, a very polite, uh, wonderful guy. So, go check out that stream if you guys have not done so yet. Great to see you again, and yeah, just click that link and give a follow, and uh, and then you guys can come back to this event after that. Or you guys can always like control click, control click opening up a new tab on the web, and you guys can give that give that follow and then come back. You know, uh, he's really growing well, and he's been uh, he's been a good friend. And there's Johnny. Johnny also, you know, Johnny rated me tonight, Korean American uh, chess noob. Johnny D with the raid tonight, really nice guy as well. So I'm sure the two of you will talk more in the future. Always nice too as streamers to have one another, you know, supporting one another. Cause uh, you know, occasionally, not too often, but occasionally there are people that maybe try to disrupt a stream. And if you're able to, you know, keep those friendships going and stuff, it can be nice. So, Roto was supposed to have white, though. Roto got white, guys. Yeah, they, they aborted the game. But Roto got white because of the lower rating. So, again, the way we do it, Beth Harmon was black, Beth Harmon was white, Roto was black, Roto was white. Roto, the lower rated player, in the final lower rated player gets the uh, white pieces if if able to do so, right? So in the case that you had like black, black, and it would be like black again, you can't do that. You can't have like three of any color in a three round tournament. You should always rotate at least once. So, all right, good stuff. Yeah, good night, Johnny. Good to see you again, man. And uh, we'll see you next time, so. All right, yeah, so Johnny gets uh, Johnny taken out there, right? So. Yeah, good stuff. And hopefully you guys are having fun too. You know, I'm, it's kind of a different thing I'm doing, right? Most streamers do play in these types of things. Um, and I definitely could play in the bracket, but I thought it'd be kind of neat. Uh, my goal actually with that Sweet 16 is to find somebody else, uh, maybe a good friend, maybe a strong uh, chess friend to come in and maybe co-commentate with that. Um, we were doing co-commentary a while back, so we'd get the, the two uh, videos together and then have that extra person helping out with commentary again. I think it'd be a good idea, so. Um, just try to make it more like a real event, like what they do like on ESPN and stuff like that, so... All my channel points are in Beth. <laughs> oh no. Did you want to bet on this one? Is that what you're saying? Uh, we, could, we could do a prediction, I guess. Yeah, we can... Uh, if you guys want that prediction, maybe that's what you're asking there. We could definitely make that happen. So, um, got Beth and Roto. And there's no material yet off the board too much, right? So, there we go. Beth, Roto, start prediction. There you guys go. If you guys want to do that, I'll try to remember to award the points right away, so... Yeah, I considered the NM, I considered a, a FM. I've got an FM friend as well on chess.com that I reached out to, but I'm not sure if he'd have time. Um, and there's other people as well. Oh, that's, uh, that's too bad with Roto, that little, little slip there. But yeah, um, I was gonna try to get someone, you know, that uh, maybe, you know, a stronger player than myself, you know. Uh, and there's also other streamers like Art Vega, there's Squirrely, there's, there's people I can reach out to, you know. And then that that'll, that event will go as long as it needs to go, is what I would say. Like, it might be February, it might be March when we're done. I mean, it might just take a while to get through all those games, but um, the Cheese Mates helped me out before. Mr. Swift Tickle. Mr. Swift Tickle's been a great uh, buddy as well for the Kako commentary in the past. So, um, And Cheese Mate Night, we actually did Korean American Chess Noob, get this. Cheese Mate Night, a while back, we did what's called Hand and Brain, 
but we did a hand and brain simul. Hand and brain simul. So he and I together, I was the hand, he was the brain. We played against, I think it was like 15 people or some number of people. And he was actually giving me like, you know, Fortuna, move a knight. Fortuna, move a, a bishop. In a simul. It was really fun. Like it was a, I liked that event a lot. That was kind of a neat, different idea, you know, and uh, something I would definitely want to do again. So uh, anyway, it's, it just, it's just fun to kind of try different things, you know, on stream. So that's actually out. I can give you guys a link to it. I think that video is still on Twitch. I was going to have it up on YouTube. It was on YouTube, but it had that play mix that was found to potentially, potentially be copyrighted, even though the play mix does it's copyright, royalty free, all that stuff. Um, let me go grab that link for you guys. I did see it was out there today, so which was kind of cool. But just just on my uh, Twitch only. So where's that video producer? Here we go. It's pretty obvious. Cause I put a nice uh, picture on it. Yeah. So if I um, if I bring this thing down, you guys can see right there. It's got hand and brain, and then the word simul in there. Hand and brain simul. So I'm gonna go give you guys the link to that right now, and uh, just do watch. There we go. Control C. And there you guys go. If you guys want to see that, um, it's right right there available on Twitch. So there's hand, it even says hand and brain because it knows it's on Twitch. Cool. You're welcome to check that out if you guys have interest. So, And don't forget my uh, interviews. Interviews on YouTube. Or, yeah, YouTube interviews as well with like Squirrely and Far Away and uh, who else was there? Art Vega, another interview with him. Um, good times, you know. So if you guys get a chance. Oh, Fade, you can tell me. <laughs> Night back. Man, Harmon, Harmon's ruthless here. Oh, cool. Thank you for the sub, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> TM, no GM. 60,000 if you're right. Wow. That's a lot. Who's gonna get the sixty thousand? Let me see this. It's uh, <laughs> that's a lot of points being wagered there. A lot of channel points on the line. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and find somebody to raid too. I'll be raiding pretty soon here. Yeah, cause look at that. Look at that. So Harmon, have you know pushing through with her will there. All right. Oh, you know what? There's. I know exactly who I'm gonna raid tonight. I got a. I got some making up to do. So. I know exactly where I'm gonna send this thing. But let's go ahead and celebrate this victory for uh, Beth Harmon first. We'll head back over. Um, so before we, we'll go ahead and mark her as the winner there on the top. And before we throw confetti and such, let's go ahead, we've got the emote for her. Let's open up her emote real quick. Uh, just show that uh, since she did this, so nice job. Wonderful to see you winning this event, Harmon. Very well done. The real Harmon's what she is, right? So H is for Harmon, there she is. Cool, there it is. So we got, oh, that's really small, hold on. We can do better than that. And I just, <laughs> what did I do, did I switch views? Oh crap, I deleted, oh geez, I did not just do that. All right, that's embarrassing. That could, that could have gone better. <laughs> I did not just not do that. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Um, I mean, I usually start here, okay. You guys, I think some of you guys in the chat know exactly what Tuner just did. Let's go with main, let's do web, let's do website. Oh man, okay, yep, here it is, so we'll go ahead and add some elements. Uh, yeah, I just did that, that's what I did, so you guys know what I did. I know you guys know what I did. <laughs> oh man. Nah, whatever, there we go. And then just put this in here. <laughs> Nothing's happened here, we're all fine here. Uh, there we go, yeah, that comes back and what a miserable view that is. What the heck is this? Why is it this way? Why is this what I get? <laughs> Anybody want to explain that to me? That looks horrible. Why do I not have the whole thing? It's like I got a part of it, not even the whole thing. This is like miserable. No. 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 Yeah, coach will be back in a minute. I'm trying to fix my view. And that was miserable. I guess I can just use the, the uh, I must be using display capture. I thought I was doing web capture there, but it must be display. This is gonna be annoying. <laughs> and we just start guessing, is it that display? Is it that display? Is it this display? There it is. Okay, so that's good again. And then it's gotta resize it. Sorry guys, that's uh. <laughs> you can see the web page now. It's actually a web, web uh, page anyway, so let's go back down here. Uh, oh well, 
mistakes were made, right? And the time at the bottom there. And I usually just resize it and kind of slide it over a bit. You guys never saw this before because I've always been pretty clean with this, but oh well, when you kill your view, what, do you, what can you do? Um, and then I have some other things to grab for it as well. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this alert box, copy that, paste it back over on top of this thing so we have alerts again. Man, that was rough. All right, and then, um, oops, that's the wrong one. Delete that. Did I really just delete it again? No, I did not delete that thing again. Oh, it's down here. Thank God, okay. See, I'm just putting my stuff back together. Sorry, paste that. All right, I was trying to bring the Harmon photo in, but I destroyed everything in doing so, so. All right, put the follower thing there, if you guys follow again. Go back to brackets. She sheeted when, that's still there, don't worry. Lock this, lock this. I got the alert, I got that. I need my video back, like you guys mentioned. Um, I'm gonna grab my video from a bigger view, like um, Simul view maybe? Yeah, there we go, I like this video better anyway. So let's add this, let's get the pro stream and this. Oh, but I can't use a big one. I don't think I can use a big one. Cause then you guys won't be able to see the bracket. It'll cover it up, so I need a small one. My bad. Semi-final. Where's that one we just did? Oh, the, uh, the, the four, the quad one. This one here. Yeah, that's what I want with this little guy. All right. Copy. You guys are like, what is Fortuna doing? I'm just putting it back together. I know. Paste that. No, it's it's hosted locally. It's not just not deployed anywhere, so you wouldn't be able to. All right, let's get these guys where they need to go. Let's get this little background image. <laughs> I'll put me back in here in a minute. So I'll put that down there. There's me. <laughs> There's me going in my box. <laughs> Into the box for Tuna Goes. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> I'm back! All so easy. Um, and then I just need the Harmon. I'm gonna go grab that Harmon image again. Apparently deleting what I thought was a Harmon image, I deleted that layer, which is horrifying, so. All right, um, emotes six, I think it was. That was rough. Emotes five. Ah, oh, man. That was crazy. There we go, this is what I want. I just wanna get the larger one of her. That's what I was trying to do, see? Larger Beth Harmon, she just won, good job. We had Aaron Gall on the other one, so I figured it makes sense to put Harmon here. And uh, we put this thing in, hacker she says maybe, right? I don't know. All right, and then we'll have the confetti, what we always have, so confetti gets shot out. Good job, Harmon, for winning. Uh, you can see that she stays on top of the confetti, which is kind of fun. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Fast next time. Yeah, so if you're out there trying to chat right now, uh, my troll did make an appearance potentially, and because of that, I changed the chat to uh, one month. Um, I can put that, well, we're gonna be ending soon anyway, but yeah, uh, in response to my troll, I usually do do that. It's a little bit more confetti here to celebrate this win. Good job. Let's go ahead and re, uh, redo the points and everything. So I'll get that stuff all calculated real quick. Uh, get the new bracket points, and let's show you guys the current list. You guys can kind of take this thing in. And we're about to see Harmon move up this list. So where's Harmon now? Is she here? Oh, right there. Wow, it was clutch that she won because she was right on that cutoff spot. Let's go ahead and turn off her emote uh, so you guys can see this. So she was right there in the 16th position. This should help secure her further up in the Sweet 16. So nice job getting this uh, clutch win at the time that you did. Um, that's two people tonight that did that. Johnny D also uh, got pretty aggressive and found a way to win. Uh, needing that as well to help get himself out of that 16th spot. He went from 16th to 11th, and we'll see what Harmon's about to do here. Okay, yeah, so I've got that record to move over. Copy that, move it down to back it up. And let's look at, too, to see how many of these events we've now had. Seems like a lot of them. This is actually the uh, 45th, 45th of these that we've done. And um, we'll go ahead now and build the leader data so that we get the new totals. All done, refresh the uh, web page, and once the page refreshes, it'll come back in, we should see Harmon move out of that 16th spot into her new position. So um, this is the leaderboard right here. Oh, there she is, number 12. So uh, just behind Twitch Fish, Johnny D, uh, moving into number 10, and DM No GM now with 50, uh, six points ahead of Goth Girl. So he's he's pretty securely up there now because um, you know she's, she's only gets four points if she wins, so. Um, I don't know, I can, I can uh, those of you that are here maybe new, uh, maybe a couple people that are new. This is the way we start. We start with some of my favorite streamers. Uh, all these are links, so like Thirsty Monster would open up Thirsty Monster's uh, you know, Lee Chess page, for example. We got Coach, this opens up my website where you guys can go buy merchandise if you guys wanna buy merchandise. But you guys don't, we'll look at that in a second, Elder Reader. You guys don't have to go buy stuff, obviously. Uh, follow review, which is being asked about right now. El, El Rodito says, hey, where am I at? Well, I can type in his name, which is, uh, hold on, I can actually get it this way. So let's look Let's look at El Rodito here, El Rodito. And he's Roto SD. So Roto SD is what we're looking for. Go over here, Roto SD. 
Roto SD is thir- uh, in position 17. You're literally one point away. You're one, or not one point, you're one place away. You might even be tied. No, you're one point away, yeah. So you're right there at the top of page two in the 17th position. So a lot of these people outside looking in, very, very close, right? Chess with Ovi back here, 33rd. Uh, page four, we got Jim Sardonic back there. So yeah, I mean, uh, 67 people are, are part of this event right now. And then, uh, as I mentioned, you got the, all the players that are, we have 127 people uh, in, in the Fortuna Chess Club. Uh, next up, we've got the ladder. Uh, it's a fun event. If I reset the ladder, which I can do right here, uh, essentially a player works their way through uh, playing different people. And if they succeed against all the players, they win. If, if along the way, they get one attempt, two attempts, three attempts, they, if they fail, they would actually lose the event and not, not make it through that. And we have confetti at the end too. If they win, we can throw confetti. Um, and then the bracket, you guys saw how that worked a minute ago. This is all done. I can reset the bracket, goes back to the initial. You get one point for being there. Each win that you get, if you go along the way, each time you win, you get a point. And notice it's all reversible. I can I can switch and then these, these players are switching and also the points. So I've got it all programmed to switch properly between each player at each position. So if I ever make a mistake in awarding someone uh, going forward, I'm able to undo that, right? So. Uh, you know, and then again, just reset the bracket to get back to the beginning. So yeah, a lot of fun things that program there. Uh, viewer bot, uh, pretty amazing thing with the viewer bot is everybody in the chat voting on moves, playing against the bot, and then I've got uh, API calls that uh, happen between Lee Chess and Twitch. So Twitch sends a move to Lee Chess. The bot on Lee Chess makes a move. The chat bot, it's the entire chat playing against me or another player. Um, we've also got arenas, of course. You guys seen this other streams? Click that, create an arena. Uh, we got matches, my NM buddy. We're gonna do one game a month now. Uh, not really a match, I guess, anymore. Or not one game, but one uh, one series of games a month, maybe two each time. And then uh, simuls are here, and that again takes me to Lee Chess to create a simul. Uh, the studies, these are my Lee Chess uh, studies I've created. I need to create more of these. Uh, puzzle, this is now Puzzle Storm. So Puzzle Storm, that new thing on Lee Chess, I, I click that, it takes me into Puzzle Storm. I can say view my best result, that's my only result. I did it for the first time today, a lot of fun. Uh, my accuracy was pretty good, but maybe not as many uh, puzzles as I uh, would have maybe wanted to, but I got, I gotta be honest, I got stuck on a couple kind of looking at it, you know, so it's, uh, yeah, I, I hear you, goth girl. You know, it's not, not the end of the world, right? But not great. And then um, books. So this is kind of cool too. A lot of people will come on the stream. I am a chess coach. They'll be like, hey, uh, what books do you have? Well, this is my book collection. I've got 96 books. Actually, I've got more too. I got some antique ones. And some of these are actually sets of books. So uh, it's a little bit over hundred books that are listed here. Like here, here's uh, Gary Kasparov on Gary Kasparov. Uh, that's, that's a three volume series. So it's actually three books, even though it's listed as one. And then if I want to show people how to buy these books, I can click this and it'll open up Amazon. Well, there's the book, there's a the price for the hardcover. Um, and all of these should work that. That way so it should be to go into like the greatest games of chess for Kaspara. that's another good one volume one there's also volume two and uh, volume two listed right here oh there's volume two so it's really nice if you guys have questions about books I can not only like take you guys into a book but show you uh, you know uh, uh, where it's at available on Amazon so you guys might say like oh I want to learn the Sicilian Fortuna here's some Sicilian books I want to learn the modern uh, I got a modern book that I just bought recently. There's the modern one. Oh, you guys like Cyrus Luca Dewalla. Oh, me too. There's Cyrus Luca Dewalla or Luke Dewalla. Luke Lock I always pronounce them wrong. Cyrus Lock Dewalla books. Uh, I got the Bird, London System, French, Modern, Nimso Indian, Trompovsky. He's also got a Collie System book. He's got a, a Scotch game, I believe. He's got a lot of good books. Um, and it feels, it's almost like having a coach right there with you. And as a coach, it's kind of weird to say that, but I literally feel like he's in the room with me. So that's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, and this is all like sortable, searchable, opens up to, uh, again, opens up to, you know, that's pretty cool to me. That's uh, it's a fun thing. It would be to open up Amazon right to that book using the ISBN of the book, you know, the unique identifying number of a book to get in there. And then at the end, we do a raid. So I can also, within my web app, say, hey, time to go raid somebody, guys. And that's uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's so funny. Well, Nate Brady, thank you so much for that raid, man. Uh, we are actually headed to raid somebody ourselves. Um, and I knew who this was a second ago. I got to find it again. Oh yeah, I know exactly where we're going. So we're going to raid Hampov. Uh, I had made a mistake the other day uh, and uh, found out that um, this guy was actually really, really nice and also a streamer. Uh, his name made me, th made me think he was a troll, but he's uh, based on a friend that's been attacking me. Or what was a friend that was attacking me, I guess. Because he was actually a, guy, a friend on the stream for a while. So we're off to Hampov, guys. Make sure you guys say hello over there. And uh, I'm going to actually get on his stream as well because I want to say hi when we get there and uh, celebrate him as a streamer. He's a really good streamer, really good chess player. Um, so it'd be nice to have you guys check him out. And I'm turning up the volume on his stream right now. 
Uh, we're off to see Hampop. Good night, guys. Good night, Ola Pals. Yeah, I'm definitely trying to mend things with him after uh, the, the uh, bad ban that I did, so that was a mistake on my part. We'll see you guys next time, which will be tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Enjoy his stream, and make sure you guys are eating, get some sleep, maybe get some exercise too. Next, Until next time, guys. Bye. So...